Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another episode of Happy Chirp. Uh, today I have with me somebody who I've known for quite some time because um, we had the same like friend circle. Um, she was friends with my brother and my husband both. Uh, so yeah, I've known her for a while, but now she is actually a model, and her name is Atika. Hi, Atika. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Uh, I've been wanting to have you on my podcast for a while, but because you're in Lahore, yeah. <laughs> so this time, um, which was then clearly I when we met, hmm. but then I just suddenly, kal perso me guest ka sochi di. I was like, wait, I think Atika is here. <laughs> so yeah, yeah thank you. You took a break in between as well. Yeah, I took a break as well. So a lot of the times, me say this now that people that I want on the podcast, who at that time they come when our season ka break came out. So that's very unfortunate for me. But anyway. So Atika um I know it's been a, quite a journey for you to be here becoming a model <laughs> now um so we're going to talk a little bit about that uh and how that sort of happened but we'll start with way back where you were born raised and your early education can okay. you tell us a bit about that um so I was born in Mecca my dad um moved there when he was um quite young and my mom and my siblings all grew up over there and um, i studied there till i was 15 and then i moved to pakistan when i turned 16 and i that's how i met muzammil and aiz oh so you've grown up in saudi yeah i grew up there oh acha ye this i did not know acha <laughs> so when you came here to so you were quite grown up yeah i, ah. was, I was actually quite um, I mean, although I used to come to Pakistan in the summers to visit my relatives and my dada, but um, still moving here is a whole different uh, change. Like, यहाँ पे आके मुझे एकदम से वो, I think it was like uh, I wouldn't say reverse culture shock, but it was still a culture shock. Even though I'm Pakistani and वहाँ पे मेरा school भी Pakistani था, but यहाँ के मुझे एकदम से ना I was like, okay, ये भी दुनिया है. And um, adjusting here took me a little time, which is why I think. The version that Muzammil knows of me, and maybe I can I still I know through university as well. But um, Muzammil, um, th- that version Muzammil knows is very different from who I am right now because that that was me adjusting to Pakistan as well and um, kind of figuring out where I am and what I'm doing. Hmm. Okay, so um, what do you exactly mean by culture shock? यहाँ के क्या आपको feel हुआ? Um. Okay, I wouldn't say culture shock in in the sense that it was a shock. It was just an adjustment for me. Um, I feel like kids who grew up in the Middle East, unki life kafi sheltered hoti hai. Um, they're very um, like unki dunya bahut choti hoti hai. So Pakistan aake there's so many different things that you see and you're like, okay, you, you know, th- this, there's so much that I that other kids my age have gotten to experience which I didn't get to. Mm-hmm. And um, so us sense maybe apko hota hai and and it's also a little overwhelming. Sometimes because um, it's like you know how okay, then a mender ka kuwa hota hai, like uski dunya itni hoti hai, fir ekdam se badi ho jati hai. So for me, that adjustment took some time because mm-hmm. I was like, okay, there's a lot happening over here which I didn't even know was happening, uh-huh. and it was both exciting but also overwhelming. I would say. I said, so do you think because at the age that you sort of moved in, uh, do you think it was also like? Um, You know that teenage thing, teenage with, angst, ah, huh, and high yeah. school maybe because I think it was just right stepping into high school, right? Yeah. So was it that as well? I think yeah, it, it was that as well, and also not just high school. I stepped into um, Beacon House, <laughs> Bani Gala campus, जो के एकदम से I mean I think उस उसी साल they had decided to expand into a bigger campus and mm. they took in like 500 kids mm. so it was like stepping into a university mm. in a way and they used to brag about it as well they'd be like yeah you know this you're we're giving you university experience <laughs> so mm. so it was a bit uh, like i mean i felt very lost ekdam se because mm. i imagine spending 15 years in one place with the same people you know and then stepping into a whole new world with with a, like people who you don't even know hmm. so that was a bit of a shock for me i guess and changing an entire country changing an entire country um yeah also moving homes leaving my friends behind all hmm. of that it's a lot it was yeah acha time. so um what was it like growing up in makka in makka um hmm. i mean so <laughs> i think in for me it was fun because um We lived in a building just me. Um, sare expatriates in a way, right? Like there were Indians, there were Pakistanis, there were Arabs as well. 
so we built a kind of community amongst our neighbors mm-hmm. so we had this like it was like a mini family so we used to go out with them we used to go travel with them we go to the beach with them um so i had a lot of fun and i was one of those kids who was very hyper active and i would always be like we had a playground next to our building mm-hmm. uh which we were supposed to stay in but i was one of those kids who would be like oh let's jump over the wall and let's explore so <laughs> i'd be running around the streets with my friends mm. uh so yeah i had a lot of fun mm. I, I, uh when i got older i think when i turned like 12 13 tab ja ke i think i stopped playing out as much because tab i think cuz cuz i was a girl huh. so that changed which was really frustrating for me uh but other than that i had a great time hmm. and uh, do you think that one of the because i don't know what it's like makkah me or matlab mere to bahut different probably wo imagination hai ki wahan par life kaisi hoti hai so was there a lot of difference in like obviously religion wise wahan par were there a lot of restrictions or, so did that affect you in any way or um, i don't know it uh, so thankfully I'm um, in my case because I spent most of my childhood there. Childhood, huh? I didn't get to spend a lot of time as an adult there. Uh. But yeah, restrictions hoti thi. I remember I had cousins coming from Pakistan, and this one time we took them to um, a mall in Makkah, and my cousin was like, "Okay, I just got uh, shamed by a five-year-old kid because my hair is showing." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So I mean, it's like Makkah was a lot more conservative than other cities, but. Mm. Um, Jeddah was really nice. So mm. we used to go to Jeddah a lot. Mm. We had relatives and not relatives, we had friends and family friends in Jeddah. Mm. So we used to travel to Jeddah every weekend, go to the beach, have uh, fun. I've heard Jeddah is a bit more modern. Yeah, that's what this is. Jeddah is a lot more chill than Makkah. Ah, uh-huh. acha acha. And I, I think um, I think I moved to Jeddah in the last two years of my time in Saudi. Ah, uh, you moved there as well. My school now. was in Jeddah. My dad's job was in Jeddah. All of my siblings studied in Jeddah. The only reason we lived in Makkah was because my mom was like, "If I'm living in this country, I'm Makkah se bahir nii jari." So we had to live in Makkah from. Ah, ha. So it makes sense. Yeah, uh, I mean, understandable. Ha. Huh. Okay, so then when you moved to Pakistan, what was your high school experience like? Were you popular or were you not popular? <laughs> what was that like? What were your friends like? All of that experience. So, um, I think. uh it's really funny because maybe we batati hu uh, zoya ko bhi kehti hu i i think the only reason i made any friends in a levels was because of zoya <laughs> okay cuz um she was with me in saudi as well at the time her dad was posted there for Achha. three years so that's Achha. how i knew her when i came to pakistan i was supposed to go to lgs i gave the interview i got selected and then um i remember i told zoya ke oh yeah i'm going to lgs and she was like no come to peekan house And oh. they were giving a full scholarship to kids who had straight A's, and, and I was smart in O levels. I got straight A's, <laughs> uh. so I decided to go to Beacon House. And um, obviously, um, I think maybe had I gone to LGS, I might have been a lot more comfortable. But then again, it's good that I went to Beacon House because comfort zone. So I nickel gay thi. So usme growth bhi zada hoye. LGS to ek chota sa ghar wala school tha at that cozy. point. Ha, ha. I, I think I was very uh, comfortable there. Isi wajah se ki okay, kam log honge, it'll be nice. Hmm. but i'm i think i'm glad i went to beacon house hmm. so i did make a few friends i most of the people uh, i became friends with were not from engineering i was in the engineering group hmm. I, i had three girls in my class and i think 15 me 20 boys hmm. so it was a very awkward <laughs> huh. uh, awkward um i kya kehte hain branch to be in lekin hmm. um zoya was in commerce and she was very social so she made all the friends and because i was her friend i i made all of the friends too mm, basically yeah. friends with the popular girl jo i makes it <laughs> i was the introvert who was friends with the extrovert who haan, made all the friends with ha acha ye mujhe nahi pata tha that Achha. you were already friends with zoya from before yeah. i did not know that she was the only person i knew in pakistan when i like i mean not non pakistan but in beacon house at least mm. so she introduced me to everyone and she was like yeah you know these are my new friends ha <laughs> <laughs> huh. so i think yeah from what i know like aap logon ka high school experience was very a lot of fun right was, like yeah. you guys used to just have all the fun at least mujhe to lagta tha shayad kyunki hum o levels wale the to hum because my brother was in a levels so hume se dekh ke lagta tha ki a levels wale ki to bas party hi chalti hai so there was a lot of fun in a levels but i don't think i got to experience most of it because mm-hmm. along with me um so it was me my mom and my sister who came to pakistan and my dad stayed behind acha so for my mom obviously it was also a shock because she was like okay i don't want my daughter getting out of hand Haan. so 
as soon as we shifted um she put a lot of restrictions on me ke okay you're not going to go out is time ke baad although i did kind of slowly um get her used to it ke okay i have friends i ha- you know we go out it's normal i have guy friends mm. so ye wali cheeze unko aisa aisa maine karwai thi and she became okay with it after a while but it took a lot of like i think the first year i was mainly depressed also because i, I could see all of my friends having fun without me mm. and i would just be at home mm. so ye mere sath bahut hua tha ye levels mein i think phir university tak my mom had chilled out and tab i got some more freedom and more chances to live my life <laughs> the way you want <laughs> yeah ha uh, um yeah like uh, as much as i remember you were always the shy girl like i i don't think hamara kabhi ta interaction nahi hua but you were that shy girl who was you know kind of quiet and stuff <laughs> I mean, yeah I, i wouldn't say i'm quiet i just th- i think i take my time opening up to ha, people to mujhe thoda time lagta hai so. and once you're comfortable then you're not so quiet yeah i mean i guess <laughs> <laughs> right okay and then where did you go for your university i went to nast mm. in islamabad I, i studied architecture from sada mm. uh yeah five years i call it archi torture not architecture <laughs> those five years were torture mm. but i also i am i'm very grateful i went there because i learned a lot i met some really nice people and um, i initially had to go to nca in lahore mm. but my dad got sick right oh. before i had to come to pakistan for my entrance exams hmm. so my mom sent me alone to pakistan she was like you have to live with your sister give your tests and everything acha um and I, my sister was married and she was living in lahore so i spent two months with her but those two months uh, were really hard I, okay we didn't get along uh and um i was also really depressed because wait your sister was married there yeah, yeah okay so yeah. you went and lived with her yeah i stayed with her uh. So yeah, on on those months, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna apply everywhere. Nast was supposed to be my backup option. Mm. I was like, I'm the main goal is NCA. Mm. I wanted to actually go into filmmaking. Acha. But architecture was something I did. I did want to do because my dad's an engineer and he used to bring his magazines home. Kher, so I used to love going through them. And he was like, oh, I I want one of my kids to be an architect. So I was uh. like, I'll be an architect. So this shock me too. But uh, before university, I took a gap year. Um, just me i went to stay with my dad and i actually got a job in my old school just me i studied as a teacher uh, teaching assistant for play group hmm. i worked there for 6 7 months and i saved money i got my own camera and that's when i was like oh i love doing this so hmm. i want to turn this into like i want to take this forward hmm. so i told my mom i was like i want to be a filmmaker <laughs> and huh. she was like that's not a degree uh. so she said you know do something worthwhile and then once you graduate you can do whatever you want hmm. so um I was like okay I guess cuz our parents have this idea ke you know degree kuch stable substantial si honi chahiye ha yeah, like doctor engineer ya is tarah karke ha like aapne aapne kuch sciences padhe honi kuch science padhi honi chahiye kuch stable hona chahiye so uh, and I didn't mind honestly because I did find architecture interesting um but I just didn't know how demanding it would be at yeah. the time it was very de- demanding hmm. um so I applied to NAST uska test pehle hua tha and then I had to and see the exam was at the end of the year so oh, huh. during, december mein hota hai ha december bahut late hota hai so us time pe i was also taking classes in lahore and i remember i was really sad because um classes for what drawing uh, drawing class ha huh. at sandha road mein rickshaw pe ra- jaati thi <laughs> so um i was really sad because i was like okay um my dad sick my mom's not here um and my sister was kind of annoyed by me as well because I mean she was like cuz obviously I'm not her responsibility. Yeah. Um so I felt very like a burden on everyone and I was like you know what I want to like I want to be self sufficient. Yeah. So I want to be able to do my own thing because I was working before I um like I worked for 6 months. Hmm. So mere dimag mein wo independent wali feeling aagi ah, you know ki I'm, yeah. I'm earning for myself. So going back to being dependent on someone again felt weird for me. Hmm. So um yeah us time pe I was like okay jahan pe bhi admission hota hai i'm going to start and yeah. i'll apply to nc later but somehow nast me i just settled like i mean in the sense ki i got along with my teachers i liked my friends did you end up giving the nc a test no i didn't Achha, so i actually didn't. didn't i finished my i was like main ek saal khatam karke dekhti hu hmm. so ek saal ho gaya and i was like okay you know what i don't mind this that's actually nice hmm. so do saal ho gaye phir third year mein jaake ekdam se mujhe mid life mid life nahi mid mid career crisis hua <laughs> uh. but i was like what am i doing what am i doing uh, and i was like i wanna um like i think well, i think har kisi ko eventually hota hai ek point pe in ke padhai mein ke whether like i don't want to do this 
so us time pe mujhe hua i was like i want to be a filmmaker i don't want to do this uh something that you originally wanted to be yeah. and then you did architecture and then you're like also whenever i was be doing a project mai kisi na kisi bahane i would bring video into it like i would spend more time on my case studies and on my conceptual videos than on my actual project mm. so my teachers were also like okay you know you should go into this once you graduate you're pretty good at this so i mm. was like i am <laughs> but then uh. i realized ke you know i don't want to drop out i want to see this through and we I'll, i'll figure it out once i graduate hmm. so i as i mean degree is also long right 5 years ki hoti hai to phir yeah. bande ko bhi hota hai ki acha abhi do aur saal hai but yeah, yeah but 5 years ki degree bhi thi upar se khair thankfully i was a year ahead in studies so for me taking a gap year wasn't really an issue uh-huh. but the 5 year thing it actually was a lot and i don't regret it now because now that you when you graduate and you come into the real world you miss university So I kind of missed that time now so I'm grateful I had 5 years even though they were 5 years of torture but I grew, I grew a lot. Ha huh. so th- th- the other day um someone said to me ki tumne jo hai dentistry ki degree ki hui hai so don't you think ki tumne bahut apna time zaya kiya hai yeah. because this is not what you're doing at the moment yeah. and I was like you know that's a very sort of narrow lens to look at something yeah. ki aapne ठीक है आप वो डिसीजन एक उस चीज़ के लिए लेते हो लेकिन वो टाइम ज़ाया नहीं है क्योंकि उसमें और बहुत सी चीज़ें थी अ लॉट ऑफ ग्रोथ्स एंड थिंग्स दैट आई लर्न एंड इफ आई हैड गॉन देयर डन दैट यू नो दैट इज़ आल्सो एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ हु आई एम टुडे इट्स प्ले सच ए ह्यूज पार्ट तो नो रिग्रेट्स के यू डोंट एंड अप डूइंग वट यू वेर डूइंग बिफोर इट्स फाइन यू नो एग्जैक्टली हाँ एंड इवन I feel like any kind of education does add value to your life even mm-hmm. if you don't end up using what you've learned. Yeah, yeah. There's still some value it, it does help you know more like I dentistry me like I have a friend doing dentistry so they teach you basic uh, medicine as well in the first year mm. and she's always showing me random stuff where she's like oh today we did this with a tooth or we made this yeah. and it's it's really interesting. <laughs> I mean it's stuff that you get to learn yeah. and I think any knowledge is पर्सनल ग्रोथ तो होती है ना वेदर यू आर यूजिंग इट इन एनी वे और नॉट राइट यू आर ग्रोइंग एज अमन किसी को दांत का मसला होगा So my si- my other sister I have two sisters. Okay. Uh my other sister was uh, staying with my dad at the time she had just grad she had graduated a few years earlier she was uh, a doctor. Mm. So she um decided to take a year off and stay with my dad while he was recovering and um during that time my mom came back. Mm. So then me and my mom lived in I8 together and wahan se phir I used and my mom used had to learn driving because of me because <laughs> she had to drop to university mm. so phir me and my mom lived together for a while phir my sister eventually came back as well thodi mm. years baad mm. when did you learn to drive i learned to drive when i was 17 i mean i learned while i was in uh, school yeah in school uh. but i wasn't allowed to take the car out because my mom was like no until you clear your license जब तक लाइसेंस नहीं मिलता यू नॉट अलाउड टू ड्राइव तो आई थैंकफुली गॉट माय लाइसेंस इन द फर्स्ट ट्राई आई वाज लाइक हा दैट्स अमेजिंग बाय द वे बहुत मुश्किल होता है अच्छा 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 दे गिव मी आई डोंट नो इफ यू हैव एवर गिवन अ ड्राइविंग टेस्ट इन इस्लामाबाद दे सो दे गिव यू द ऑप्शन ऑफ यूजिंग योर ओन कार और अम या द वन दे गिव दे गिव या इन द कार दैट दे हैड वाज अ मेहरान विद अ उसके टूटे हुए साइड मिरर से वो टेप से जोड़े हुए थे एंड बैक मेर उसका जो रेयर व्यू मेर है वो भी टूटा हुआ था सो आई लिटरली आई रिमेंबर आई वाज ड्राइविंग बैक सो स्लोली के एक पॉइंट पे द पीपल स्टैंडिंग दे स्टार्ट चीयरिंग लाइक यू कैन डू दिस दैट्स क्यूट या सो दैट वाज फन एंड आई थिंक द ड्राइविंग एक्चुअली पेड ऑफ फॉर मी गेटिंग अ लाइसेंस बिकॉज़ व्हाइल आई वाज स्टडीइंग इन नस्ट आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन द साइड आई गॉट अ जॉब इन रेड बुल अच्छा जिसके अंदर मुझे विनी कूपर चलानी होती थी एंड दैट वाज आल्सो Uh, through Sana, by the way, uh-huh. I ran into Sana once, and she was working for Red Bull at the time. And I was like, "Hey, you're working." And she's like, "Yeah, this is what I do on the side." So I said, "Listen, um, if there's ever an opening, let me know because I would like to work." Okay, but why? Why did you want to work at this time? Because I know that architecture degree is a lot. I've is, seen it. It is very demanding. I think uh-huh. for me, it was also because my dad wasn't well, mm-hmm. and I think after my first year of university, my dad. I think he turned 60 around then. Hmm. So he told my mom, "Okay, I'm retiring." He's like, "I can't work anymore." So that 
anxiety kind of set in for yeah. me and I was like okay I don't want to live off my parents retirement savings yeah so I want to be able to support myself during this time Aapki ammi ne kabhi kaam nahi kiya my mom actually both my parents worked throughout my most of my life my mom had a school in uh, Makka she ran a school for immigrant kids Achha <laughs> <laughs> like it basically started off as a small like it started off because my oldest sister she would refuse to go to school she would cry every day and my dad would bring her back uh-huh. saying ki mera dil kharab hota hai ye bahut roti hai so my mom started home schooling her unko dekh ke other people were like can we send our kids and by the time i was born 8 years later um my mom had a whole running school in one part of our apartment like there were two rooms jinko unhone school banaya tha how cool eventually us usse she shifted to another niche wala pura floor unhone le liya phir by the time i was 15 उन्होंने पूरी हमारी बिल्डिंग की छत को स्कूल बनाया योर मॉम इज अ फुल फ्लेज ऑन्टरप्रनोर बिजनेस एजुकेटर अच्छा फैसिनेटिंग मॉम वाज वेरी एम्बिशियस लाइक शी इज आल्सो वन ऑफ दोस पीपल हु आई गेस जस्ट कीप्स नीड समथिंग टू डू अच्छा आई गॉट दैट फ्रॉम हर आई डोंट नो हम्म बट या दैट्स हाउ आई स्टार्टेड रेड बुल तो वो इधर काम कर रही थी नहीं इन पाकिस्तान शी वाजंट इधर आके शी व्हिच इज आई थिंक आल्सो व्हाई अम she because she didn't have anything focus on she focused on her kids yeah. <laughs> too much attention <laughs> too much attention <laughs> yeah uh-huh. but uh us time pe my mom was working she she left her um she left the school um wali job she basically gave delegated that to someone else like she when she had to move ha uh-huh. so she left that in saudi and there's someone else who was running it for a while um idhar aake nahi she wasn't working hmm. okay but, so ever since she moved to pakistan she didn't yeah. work then and then my dad retired as well so um i mean he had savings but at the time i think meri sirf ek bhan ki shaadi hui hui thi my brother was living in england achhe her brother as well yeah uh-huh. with older my, oh, with four siblings uh-huh. oldest brother and three sisters acha uh-huh. so my brother was in england at the time he had gone for his masters and phd unko scholarship mil gayi thi hmm. and um, my sister who was a doctor had just graduated so she wasn't earning well at the time either like cuz the doctors ko stamp they paid really badly uh-huh. um so i was like okay so my dad's going gonna come back and he's going to have to support all of us yeah. pay rent as well because mm-hmm. we were living on rent in islamabad our own house was in lahore um so all of these factors mujhe i don't know why i was such an anxious kid but mujhe like my, i i didn't want to be a burden on my family mm. are you are you the youngest i'm the youngest uh, cuz usually jo youngest hote hain unko अक्सर इस चीज़ की रियलाइजेशन नहीं होती लेकिन जो बहुत यंगेस्ट होते हैं लाइक आई थिंक जिनका डिफरेंस बहुत ज़्यादा होता है उनको होती है बिकॉज दे सी दैट देर पेरेंट्स आर स्ट्रगलिंग देर गेटिंग ओल्ड राइट तो यू कैन सी दैट हैपनिंग सो आई थिंक उनके ऊपर आई थिंक जैसे कहते हैं ना कि जो सबसे बड़ा वाला होता है उसके ऊपर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी होती है बट अगर छोटा वाला बहुत छोटा हो ना तो उसको भी नज़र आना शुरू हो जाता है कि माई पेरेंट्स आर गेटिंग ओल्डर सो एट अ वेरी यंग एज यंगर दैन देयर ओल्डर सिबलिंग्स they start feeling the responsibility of it all I you think know that is what happened with me as well because um mere aur mere bhai mein 10 saal ka difference hai fir behan mein 8 saal ka fir like un sab mein do do saal ka difference hai aur main 6 saal baad aayi hu ha so and my parents i mean they actually joke about it ke oh we thought we'd only have three kids you were like you're nice. <laughs> <laughs> extra <laughs> yeah by three given free <laughs> so um i grew up and i used to watch my dad working overtime and hmm. making sure ke you know mere bhai ki fees ja rahi hai behan ki fees ja rahi hai and all three of them were in university around the same time so unki upar oh that's a lot uska kafi zyada pressure aaya tha mm. and my education wasn't cheap either because we were in saudi um so all of those factors i mean it, there is a sense of guilt that comes up even though it, it, my parents never made me feel that way but i i felt bad ke okay you know I, i'm an extra add on which they didn't ask for but they got uh-uh. so they have to live in uh. so which ki- kind of motivated me as well and i also didn't like having to ask for stuff mm. because growing up i remember my dad never said no to things but as i got older i started realizing ki you know he he never says no but it it does stress him out yeah it doesn't mean ki it's easy for him exactly yeah, yeah. so I, i mean it I felt really bad when I realized this. That okay, you know, बचपन में तो आप चीजें मांगते रहते हो और आपको नहीं पता होता कि you know these are things that are hard for your parent to do. Um, I mean, I also didn't realize that until I was much older. That when I was born, my dad actually had to um, like for the first eight years of my life, my dad didn't live with us. He lived in Medina because mm-hmm. uh, he got a job there, and that job was obviously paying better. and he had a fourth kid so he was like you know what i have to support my family so i'm going to take this job and he decided to my parents decided ke you know for the sake 
एक तो शिफ्ट भी नहीं करना सबने साथ इनके स्कूल यहाँ पे स्टे हियर सो माई डैड लिव डलोन इन मदीना एवरी वीक एंड ही वुड कम विजिट अस and uh, so it's a sacrifice on their part in a way a lot of yeah yeah for their kids just so that we would have a stable life hmm. and um my main goal was ke as soon as i'm able to earn enough i want to give them back some stability in their life because hmm. they've given up enough hmm. and i think ki desi culture mein i think cheez hoti hai self self sacrificing ah. jisme uh, the uh, parents are like okay you know what hamari khair hai tum log khush raho ah. and i i keep telling my mom this right now as well because abhi bhi you know she stresses about me so i'm like please start living your own life because you know i, I understand loving your kids is important but aap apne bachon ko apni duniya jo bana dete ho to phir it's also a pre- lot of pressure on the kids yeah. because then they're like okay my parents happiness is connected to mine yeah. so i have to maybe live up to that expectation yeah and that's dangerous for everyone yeah you know because then obviously when you know ke unki sari cheez aap par dependent hai unki khushi unki life then obviously obviously on some level it restricts your freedom and even though it's out of love and everything but you need them to let it go wo tha na ki ek point pe aapne kya kehte hain ghonsle se bahar करना है यू नो एंड इन माई मॉम्स केस स्पेशली आई थिंक और मे बी वॉज बिकॉज आई वॉज द यंगेस्ट एंड आई वॉज द लास्ट चाइल्ड इन द हाउस लेटिंग मी गो वॉज द हार्डेस्ट थिंग फॉर हर बिकॉज शी वॉज लाइक ओके दिस इज द लास्ट बेबी आई हैव सो आई हैव टू रियली आई मीन आई वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी को डिपेंडेंट ऑन माई मॉम इज वेल आई वोट लाई एंड आई हैव टू रियली पुल बैक फॉर माई माई सेल्फ एज वेल बिकॉज आई रियलाइज के आई एम सो डिपेंडेंट ऑन माई माई पेरेंट्स इन इमोशनली एटलीस्ट Okay, if they ever and my mom starts saying this near the end, um, like near the end of uh, the time when I moved out, okay, mm. she was like, you know, if I die, I'm worried what will happen to you. So that thought really scared me, mm. and I was like, I don't know how to live without my family. Hmm. So I need to learn how to do this while they're here, before anything happens, God forbid. Um, so that. I'm able to, and also to show my mother, okay, I can take care of myself because I don't want her to worry, okay. मेरे बाद क्या होगा एंड आउट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ अर किड्स फॉर सम रीजन उनको लगता था मैं सबसे हेल्पलेस हूँ बेबी फॉर दैम हाँ लाइक एन यू नेवर ग्रो अप इन फॉर दैम सो हाउ डिड दिस मूव थिंग हैपन वट हैपन लाइक बिकॉज यू वर इन इस्लामाबाद राइट दैन वाई डिड यू मूव आउट so i uh, moved out so when i graduated from university mm. um most of my friends everyone had a goal or plan in life theek hai some were getting married some mm. were going for masters mm. some were getting jobs um i was a very burnt out from university and b i was also very lost mm. because i didn't know what i had to do in life um i didn't know how to do whatever i had wanted to do i think staying in university deciding to stay and not leaving although i was a, wasn't a bad choice um those extra 2 years kind of drained me or left me feeling very demotivated in a way hmm. because um i f- i graduated and also i think ye bhi tha ki personal life struggles bhi saath saath chal rahe hote hain to aap unko bhi like you're struggling in university and in personal life and by the time you graduate everything just stops like yeah. sab kuch ekdam se khatam ho jata hai hmm. um so us time pe i was very confused very lost uh pehle to i i had saved some money from red bull hmm. which i wanted to invest in a camera i had thought ki i'm going to get a camera i'm going to start getting jobs maybe shooting stuff get, like, doing photography um and i went to my brother and i told him us time tak he had moved back to pakistan okay. as well so he was with you and your mom yeah he had moved back my dad and he was basically because of my my dad wasn't well and uh, he wasn't able to help out in the house so my mom leaned on my brother for support so she made him kind of the head of the house which was a whole new dynamic for me to get used to as mm. well because me and my mother by that point had a level of understanding ke you know she trusted me and she would be like okay gaadi le jao ye kar lo wo kar lo um there was no concept of ke you know ghar is time tak wapas aana hai okay. when when my brother came back बनाया भी गया था सो ही स्टार्टेड नोटिसिंग थिंग्स एंड सेंग दिस वाई शी डूंग दैट 
बिकॉज आई फील लाइक जब उनको रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दी गई तो देन ही इज ऑबियसली लाइक बींग रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ मेड सम लाइक उसकी वजह से मी एंड माई ब्रदर लाइक I was like, wait, you're my brother. Why are you acting like my dad? Mm. So, really dynamic. थोड़ी सी मुझे feel होती थी. Um, and I also noticed that my mom started becoming different with me as well, mm. because he would say something to her, and she would believe him, and she mm. would be like, okay, नई सही कह रहे, you know. So, I remember I went to my brother, and I was like, okay, I saved this much money. Mm. I need to get. I want to get this camera mm. because this is more professional. I I want you to lend me some money so I can buy this camera. I'm gonna pay you back in it nine months, and he listened and he was like, "Okay, I'll think about it." Okay, this is something I've noticed uh, is also very common in some Pakistani families. Okay, where even with my dad, especially, he would never say no to me. Hmm. He would go to my mom and tell her to say no to me if he ever had to. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so my brother did the exact same thing. He hmm. went to my mom and he was like, you know, she wants to be a photographer, and you know, she's been studying architecture for five years. She's got her degrees. Hai hai. Why did she do this? Is it that you know, BA kar leti or is it that because she like who said me? Bola. So my mom came and she scolded me as well. She was like, "Ah, what are you asking about the camera? And you're not going to do this. Girls don't do this kind of jobs." Hmm. And I, which is ironic because I'm a model now. <laughs> हम तुम्हें कैमरा नहीं दिलवाएंगे सो आई वॉज रियली डिप्रेस्ड आई वॉज लाइक ओके वट डू आई डू नाउ एंड उस टाइम पे आई रिमेंबर माई फ्रेंड वॉज लाइक दिस इज बिफोर आई ग्रेजुएटेड सो माई फ्रेंड वॉज लाइक यू नो वंस वी ग्रेजुएट आई एम प्लानिंग ऑन गोइंग फॉर बैक पैकिंग ट्रिप टू मलेशिया सो शी वॉज लाइक डू वन आई कम विद मी एंड आई वॉज लाइक या लेट्स डू इट एंड देन आई टू माई मॉम सो इट्स रियली फनी हाउ लाइक पेरेंट्स लॉजिक वर्क आई वॉज लाइक I need some money, um, either for a camera or for a traveling trip. Hmm. I thought my mom would be like, "A camera for you, take it." Trip ki khair hai. Huh. She was like, "I'll I'll give you some money for the trip, but for camera, I'll not give it." And I was like, "Are you?" <laughs> I was like, "What's the logic?" I was like, "Why?" Because unko bas tha ki nahi, you know. Ki bas photographer na ban jaye maybe. Ha. Ki is is kam mein nahi jana. Ha. So and she thought ki maybe traveling would help me uh, come to my senses. <laughs> she's like she is cook with therapy ki zarurat hai shayad travel mein jaake thoda sa reflect yeah, kar she might usse uh. i think ulta hi ho gaya i think because when i traveled and it was just me and two other girls we went backpacking across and we had a budget and i'm I th- and i'm really proud of myself because um we had a very tight budget lekin us budget mein humne pura mahina travel kiya tha ha and by the time i came back i realized ke there's one thing about traveling although it is an escape When you come back, you're back in your old life. Mm. So, उस time पे I was great, I was happy. I came back, I was back in my old life. And उसके foreign बाद the friend, my friend uh, went for masters. Most of my friends had moved out in the sense that they'd gone to different countries or were getting married. So that's when it hit me again, and that's when I was like, okay, I'm lost. Um, mm. And then I was like, okay, I'll just apply for a job. Um, and I remember before I had graduated, this friend of mine had shown me a job listing for this. Agency in Islamabad called Icon Seven, ah. and it was one of her friends was working there, and they were hiring people for videos. Hmm. So she's like, you know, I know you like this. Why don't you apply? Um, so I sent my CV, went for an interview, and they wanted to hire me immediately, but I was still doing my thesis at the time. So I said, I'll reach out to you again once I've graduated. So when I came back, I realized, oh, ये भी तो option था, and I knew मैंने architecture में नहीं जाना because hmm. I had interned every year. while i was studying and it really disillusioned me from the um, practice of architecture yeah, yeah. so i was like i'll try this so i got that job they hired me and i worked there for 6 months and you did like camera work there i did uh, i did different things so because they knew can you photoshop i knew illustrator i knew um, all of these other softwares to mujhe har kisam and because it was a small agency to us time pe they were growing They were like, okay, जिसको जो करना आता है वो काम कर ले So I was also designing posts. I was making animations. Okay, हाँ. Huh. And it was it was good work. I mean, I would say I grew a lot from that. Uh, and the best part was everyone there was my age almost. Mm-hmm. So I did, culture भी अच्छा होगा फिर मजा आता होगा. हाँ. It was really nice. It was like it was kind of like a family. Hmm. Um, like in in those six months, I also gave GRE because my my साथ साथ my mom was like, okay, you know, masters के लिए apply करो, full bright का वो करो. तो वो भी मैं साथ साथ करी थी आई वॉज लाइक ओके आई एम गन मेक माई फैमिली हैप्पी एंड ऑल्सो ट्राई टू डू वर आई वॉन्ट बट आई थिंक वो प्रेशर जो था इट कॉट अपनी एंड आई रियलाइज कि 
मैं इधर भी नहीं खुश और मैं वो करके भी नहीं खुश होंगी सो आई डोंट नो वट टू डू आई फेल लॉस्ट अगैन एंड आई रिमेंबर आई वॉज रियली सैड वन डे एंड माई बॉस सॉमी एंड ही वॉज लाइक आर यू ओके एंड आई जस्ट स्टार्ट क्राइंग एंड ही वॉज लाइक ओके वट्स रॉन्ग एंड देन ही सैट मी डाउन एंड आई टॉक टू मैन आई वॉज लाइक आई एम नॉट हैप्पी आई डोंट नो वट एम डूइंग इन लाइफ एंड एंड आई वॉज लाइक आई थिंक आई आई शुड रिजाइन एंड आई शुड वर्क इन आर्किटेक्चर फॉर बट बिकॉज माई फैमिली इज इन हैप्पी विद मी Oh my god. Yeah, I mean mm. I decided I was just like let's just give up. <laughs> and he was like, you know, uh, he's like if you're not happy then you're useless <laughs> in this <laughs> office because I don't want an employee who's not uh. happy. And but he was like, you know, uh, he gave me some advice. And he said, you know, this is me t- talking to you as a friend and not as a boss. Okay, mm. there will be times in life where you won't know what you're doing and you will fail multiple times. It doesn't mean that you failed, it just means that you know, you can try again. And he gave me his own example of how he did Three different things before he ended up doing what he did, hmm. and it kind of gave me some hope. I was like, okay, so I'm not a complete failure in life because us time pe my self esteem was very low. I, uh, I just thought, okay, okay, I'm useless. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so uske baad I started working. I think uske baad I started working with Eyes, Eyes and Shiroz. Hmm. Um, they were hiring someone for their um office, and they were like, we need someone to work with us to do photog. It was actually. photographic and editing work mostly and also um photoshop work but i told my mom it's an architectural agency so uh, technically it's architecture uh huh. it was architecture adjacent mm, so it was an architecture agency where you could do photography and graphic work yes <laughs> yeah. yeah so um i started working with eyes us time pe and uh, this was ha huh, this was i think 6 months later hmm um us us time pe i remember um i used to like i used to think about like cuz there was times in there were times in between just me i would ha- have space to like think sit and think hmm. and i would be like okay is this what i want to do in my life is this where i'm happy um is this where i see myself in the long run hmm. and us time pe i remember i um went through this really um depressed phase again <laughs> hmm. where i was praying and i was just asking god ki you know i need i need some help i need some guidance um mujhe nahi samajh aa rahi basically mujhe samajh nahi aa rahi so you know why am i even here if i'm i'm not able to help my family because that's what i wanted to do ulta i am earning minimum wage hmm. <laughs> and i'm ulta mere sare paise mere fuel pe lag jate hain hmm. and you're not happy with what you're doing and i'm not happy uh. my family isn't happy no one's happy so what is the point of all of this mujhe hmm. samajh nahi aa rahi um and i, I think my i don't know if it was that one experience or if it was a series of experiences that led me to this point but i remember i went to a wedding for one of my ex colleagues uski shaadi ho rahi thi and wapsi pe um the person who was driving the car they lost control and the car hit the side of a bridge and it spun around multiple times and i remember you know how uh, i don't know if you've ever been in an accident uh, but there's a point where time slows down and you're just like you know what's happening but you, everything stops hmm. so I, and i was sitting in the front seat so i remember us time pe i thought ki okay i'm going to die there's there's probably a high chance that we're going to die oh <laughs> and for some reason that thought didn't scare me hmm. and i was like i'm fine with dying right now uh, oh my and god that thought i know i and that's a scary thought it is a scary thought and i was like you know what if i die right now it'll be okay and um and The, and the car spun thrice so the f- first spin pe i was like we're going to die second spin pe i was like it's okay if i die hmm. third spin pe i thought of my mom and that's when i was like if i die this will kill her and then yes. i was like I, I, i don't want yeah, to die then i was like i don't want to die uh, oh my god you gave me goosebumps <laughs> with these thoughts uh. it was it was really uh, it was, i mean i mean us time pe to I, i i didn't even process it but later i i think back and i think that that was the moment where i realized okay um you know i need to do something more with my life and um this basically shows that that's what i think that um you did not value yourself yeah and your life and the only reason that you eventually did want to not die was yeah because it's going to hurt somebody else exactly but you f- i think you yourself f- did not feel that you had a reason to live beyond your mother it was a scary thought and when i later sat and th- thought about it i actually cried because i was like wow you know this if, is how i if, think of if myself if it weren't for someone else's attachment to me i probably wouldn't want to be here mm. and um, 
that really scared me and then i was like okay if if then my mother ever passes away what's holding me back you know mm-hmm. what's going to keep me here and that's when i realized ki you know i need to learn how to live on my own and i need to learn how to survive on my own because um phir to mere paas kuch bhi nahi hoga like you know i'm 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 very attached to i'm very codependent with my mom in this case so i also knew ke if, the same goes for my mom ki you know i want her to learn how to be okay with me not being around because the thought of me ever me ever hurting her that would that killed me hmm. um so i decided us time pe ki you know what i have to learn how to survive on my own and i don't know how i'm going to do it but i know ki the first step has to be moving out of the house hmm. and um us time pe i remember i decide i i i have this thing where whatever i decide i have to announce it to my family mm. so because i was like I'll, i'll just tell her and i told my mom this i sat her down and i was like you know what i think i need to move out of the house mm. and she started laughing because she of, didn't take it seriously yeah she was just like haha good luck <laughs> she's mm. like she's like invite me to your penthouse or invite me to your mansion whenever you're moving <laughs> out so i told her this and i think i didn't even take myself seriously at the time um so for the next few months i at work whenever whenever i would have some free time i would randomly check out house listings or room mm-hmm. listings and be like okay how much is a room for in this sector in this sector um what are the options um can i can i find a place for myself on my own can i move in with a different family um can i maybe find an annex seat type of situation mm-hmm. so i did all of the maths and then i gave myself a budget and i was like okay this is how much i'm earning this is how much i need to take out for rent this is how much i need to take out for food expenses so i made a whole excel sheet not even i hate excel so i made it on paper so i made a whole budget of stuff that i have to do and i knew i had to save a certain amount of money and during that time i also told friends who i knew that i was in touch with um uh, okay i want to i'm planning on moving out and if you know anyone who's renting a space in their house i would like to um check it out and i remember i had these two friends sanya and kinza who used to work within red bull and they were living with their mom at the time they were like hey if you want you can come live with us so i i was like no i don't know if i would want to live with friends cuz who dynamics weird ho jati hai it might what if we don't get along what if there's issues what if we fight over kitchen stuff so is tarah ki mujhe anxiety thi ki i don't want to ruin my friendship with people by moving in with them um but then i think ek point aaya i think in november usi saal ke Uh, my Sanya reached out to me and she was like you know our mother is moving to Lahore and um our landlord has given us a notice the very next day because he was like i don't want to keep two girls in my oh is tarah ka masla logon ko hota hai he was like i'm not keeping two single girls in my house mm. he didn't say it but they knew that was the reason the reason ha huh? so they said we have to move out by the end of the month uh, or month and a half and um we're looking for a place for ourselves If you're interested, I know you told me once that you were looking for a place. Mm. Uh, we can look for a place together instead of a two bedroom. We look for a three bedroom. Mm. But you have to let me know seriously if you're interested in in this because ye na okay last minute pe you back out and our time is gone and we have to leave and we have nowhere else to yeah. go. Yeah. So then I sat my mom down again <laughs> and I was like, you know, uh, this is the situation huh. and I'm I'm looking for places with my friends right now and. I want you to tell me again if you will be okay with this because I don't want to waste their time. And again she was like, "Okay, ha ha, jao jao." Okay. Good luck. Okay. She so basically she was like Yeah, she was like, "Good luck. Kar lo." Mm. Because in her mind, I don't know, I think unko tha ki ye to nahi kuch kar sakti. Mm. So, um we started looking for places together and we saw some horrible options, very depressing options. And uh mujhe yaad hai ek din hum log ja rahe the, we were I was in the car with them and another friend and we were checking out places um in e11 and it was we saw a very bad house which was really like uski ek to architecture in islamabad <laughs> i don't even want to get started it's so depressing <laughs> it was literally a house just ki stairs jo thi na like you enter from the gate aur lohe ki seediyan upar ja rahi hain into the terrace aur mm. us udhar darwaza aap enter karte ho and the whole house was like a lounge aur samne do kamre the aur open kitchen tha mm. aur unhone bathroom ki tile lagayi hui thi uske andar and they were asking for an a crazy amount of money mm. and we left and we were like okay our 
I guess, I guess we have no choice. And um, maybe you like कि शायद अम्मी ठीक कह रही थी ये नहीं हो सकता. I guess, I guess घर ही सही है. But then we were. I mean, I think by that point I had made up my mind कि नहीं I'm not going. Mm. I'm going to go forward with this. Mm. Um, I remember we were driving past this street or street में सारे ना छोटे से घर थे और वो नए 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 बने हुए थे. And I, for some reason, was like, can we turn in this street? And my mm. friend was like, you can't afford this street. <laughs> and I was like, I know, but I just want to see. see. I want to see a pretty house. I just want to see a pretty house. I just want to see a pretty house. So we turned into the street and uh, we were just driving and looking at that, those houses. And there was one house that was written for rent. Oh, okay. And there was a Nisha number written down. And <clears throat> I was like, can we call this number? And my friend again said, you can't afford this house. Hmm. So I was like, I know, but let's just call this number. Let's see what's going on. तो हमने नंबर कॉल किया एंड इट वाज सम प्रॉपर्टी गाय एंड ही वाज लाइक आई कैन कम इन टेन मिनट्स टू शो यू द हाउस ओके ही केम इन टेन मिनट्स एंड वी वॉक्ड इनसाइड द हाउस इट वाज अ ब्रांड न्यू हाउस इट वाज लाइक वो सेवन मरला के वो छोटे से घर नहीं होते सेवन मरला भी नहीं आई थिंक चार पाँच मरले अच्छा छोटा सा इट वॉज वेरी कॉम्पैक्ट नहीं चार भी नहीं आई थिंक पाँच वेरी कॉम्पैक्ट बट इट हैड लाइट वेल्स इन इट इट हैड अ बेसमेंट इट हैड ब्रांड न्यू बाथरूम्स ब्रांड न्यू किचन हमारी लिटरी आंखें लाइक खुल गई थी उस घर को देख के एंड यू लाइक ओके वी वॉन्ट दिस एंड देन हम हर कमरे में जाते वी जस्ट बी नॉडिंग द गाय वुड लीव यूड बी फ्रीकिंग आउट लाइक दिस हाउस इज अमेजिंग कम बैक वी लाइक यट्स वर एवर एंड एंड पे वी वुड लाइक लिसन हाउ मच इज द रेंट सो द रेंट ऑब्वियसली वी कुंड अफोर्ड बट ही वॉज लाइक के यू नो वाई डोंट यू मीट द गाय द प्रॉपर्टी मैनेजर एंड सी क्या सिचुएशन है and us point the the friend who is with us who is helping us out he was like listen he also liked the house mm. he was like i'm looking for a space for my office mm. and i think i could use this basement so if you guys are interested i will rent the basement out for my office and you guys can cover the rent ah. for the top and uh, but phir bhi it was still out of our budget so we had to go and talk to the guy and um, negotiate negotiate a little bit and we told him and he was surprisingly was very nice he was like you know i don't want to give this house to a family that's you know pachas log ki joint family aake rahe hain you guys seem like um, well behaved clean people mm. so i will give you this for a, a lesser amount than uh, before i just have one condition mm. his one condition was mujhe 6 mahine ka rent ek saath chahiye and i oh. he's like i want you to give me rent in 6 months ke batches and that's it mm. so we decided ke theek hai hum kar lenge and then he, we started saving money like i thankfully had some money saved for pehle se to wo usne ye bola to we were like let's just sign the lease savings really paid off man yeah. like now when you think about it that's why people should save yeah, i uh. think savings and just like in my case doing a lot of freelance work on the side and thankfully i feel like god really helped me in this case because um unhi time pe mujhe usi time pe mujhe um random side projects aa gaye the ki oh i'm looking for someone to do this or do you know anyone i was like i'll do it hmm. so you uh but then i also realized ki if i have to afford this house i can't continue working with eyes hmm. so i told eyes i have to find another job hmm. and coincidentally i don't know this is you know when you look back now like when i look back now um i realize how everything's interconnected things just somehow fall into place uh, things happen for a reason exactly uh-huh. i believe that uh, completely now Um I remember I randomly went um to meet a friend of a friend with um uh, Sanya Kinza and that girl was like ke oh you know there's an opening in LGS they're hiring teachers because a bunch of them quit recently so and they they need them urgently mm. and they're paying well mm. so what do you, I'm going to apply and do you, are you guys interested and I was like sure why not mm. I gave the interview um, and she was like okay you studied architecture so i can give you high school i was like no i don't want high school i want kids <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why i did this cuz mujhe wo na nostalgia hota play group ke time ka cuz i taught play group huh. even though i it's so rewarding though it's rewarding but it yeah. is physically and yeah. mentally exhausting, exhausting. i had forgotten yeah. us time tak mujhe na rose tinted glasses se mujhe bas cute bacche yaad aate the to i was like mujhe bacche chahiye mujhe primary school ya wo de so she was like okay i can give you second grade english so i accepted the job and uh then i told my mom as well ke you know i am starting a new job and we found a place we've signed a lease and that's when my family realized ke oh shit <laughs> they were like okay she wasn't joking uh this is really happening and that's when they they started freaking out and 
obviously you couldn't back out at this point because you had committed to your friends exactly. and to the uh, I, landlord I, so for me it was also a matter of committing to it because agar main akeli kar rahi hoti i might have backed out by then hmm. um, so yeah my mom freaked out my brother freaked out i didn't tell my dad th- throughout this entire time because Achha. i was like because my i know ki if my mom accepts something she can convince him because huh. my mom is the person who my dad listens to huh. uh so my us point like my mom was like you know what fine her new condition was you can leave just tell your dad yourself tough condition <laughs> and i was like mm. mm so then i was like nay you know i've been telling you for the past 3 months i want you to and you were like hey, you can leave so ab you can do this to me mm. and this is going to affect other people too mm. so then my mom was like theek hai um she she was like just if your dad says yes you can leave hmm. i mean she played the yeah. the card where she was yeah. like main to main to nahi rok rahi this is the trump card <laughs> the trump card uh. so then my mom told my dad and my dad was like his reaction was very, like very uh, you know hi main mar jaunga very dramatic ha uh, you know can, because ek to eh, i wasn't moving out to a different city i was like i want to move out but i want to move to the, in the same city so that I can come home whenever I want. So because mm. I knew I I can't completely move away immediately. Mm. So this was like training wheels for me. So mm. um I told my dad and he was like nee aise kaise you know maa baap jab hai to bacche kaise chote hamare culture mein to bilkul nahi hai moving Haan. out. Like hamare culture mein to ye hai ki ladko ki to shaadi ho jati hai to biwi saath aati hai. So this is like you know it doesn't make any sense in our culture that you leave your parents Especially and you go daughter because yeah. they were like why is our daughter leaving yeah. okay, you know because where her parents so my for my dad it was a matter of ki nahi ho hi nahi sakta hmm. um so i was like okay only my mom can convince him now so i sat her down again hmm. <laughs> and i told her honestly and my family like don't... you literally had to fight it like you had to put up a fight for Not this even fight i mean i i was very emotional throughout this whole time i told my mom very honestly ki, you mm. know i've been very depressed and i i'm not happy and i you and me not being happy is not making you happy as well mm. you know we're, we're just depressing each other at this point mm. i i want to be able to move out and make my own mistakes learn so that i don't have this pressure over my head ki i'm disappointing you and she was like when have you put pressure on you and i was like you haven't but uh. mujhe ghar pe rehte hue hota hai because i had started thinking like could be opportunity like if i ever got like a work opportunity that i was interested in i would automatically think ke okay i have to convince my mother mm-hmm. i have to convince my brother and if they agree then i have to you know do this and usme bhi ye pressure hoga ke i can't afford to fail in this because i'm doing something they have conditionally approved yes so there was a lot of like us stress ki wajah se i would lose all motivation and i would not even pursue anything mm. so yeah it was really coming in the way of your life yeah, yeah. literally so I, i i told my mom ke you know I, it's it's not you it's me <laughs> <laughs> i need yeah. to do this for myself mm. i need to learn how to survive and i honestly told her ke you know i think about you dying and that scares me and i want to learn how to live that's a life. very intense conversation to have with the parent it was and i think she understood it but she also did not want to understand or accept mm. it because she couldn't acknowledge ki mujhe samajh aa rahi hai so she was just like you know no you don't she was like you don't have to leave mm. um so yeah the first month so we had paid i think 3 months ki lease in advance mm. first lease we were like please 3 months ki kar le baad mein 6 months kar lenge mm. so i had paid the rent and my mom was like tum ja nahi sakti mana kar diya unhone unhone kaha ki you know it's i was like my money is going to get wasted she was like you should have thought about that before you paid why did you even pay the money without telling us i was like i've been telling you for 6 months ki i want to move out and i'm te- i've kept you in the loop in this whole process i think she didn't expect us to a me to a find a place mm-hmm. or and b to find a place that good so unko ye shock bhi tha so um that put you in a, probably in a very difficult spot because of course it did uh, a little bit yeah mm-hmm. um so i and i didn't i didn't want to fight with my family i didn't want to th- throw tantrums so by that point i just kind of gave up i just was like okay um you clearly don't respect me enough to like, to even believe whatever i tell you or to even listen when i'm honestly telling you that this is my reason it, mm. um i i don't have any intention of going out and like you know partying or living my life yeah, it's not that it's, yeah. it's something i need to figure out um so हाँ आई थिंक इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज लड़कियों के साथ ये होता है ना कि क्यों अलग जा के रह रही है क्या करेगी सेफ्टी सिक्योरिटी एंड देन यू नो लाइक 
all of those and all i understand those the, i understood their concerns but um i also was trying to tell her ki you know this is why i'm not moving to lahore or karachi it's because i want to be close to you guys but also i need you to trust me yeah i need you to trust uh. me okay i'll be right around the corner and i'm just figuring stuff out um so the first month i my mom didn't let, let me move out and i was just quiet i didn't i didn't even fight i didn't do anything i mai bas kaam pe jaati main ghar aati hu main kamre mein baithi rehti and mm. i would not talk to anyone in my house because i just didn't have it in me to talk to anyone and after a month of that my mom came to me herself and she was like you know if this is how you're going to live in this house you should just leave and then she started crying and then i started crying mm. and then i was like you know it's 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 not about you it's about me figuring things out and i can't i can't live like this and i us time pe ye bhi tha ke because my brother was um kind of the head of the house he was also financially responsible for everything in the house mm. so i also felt really bad in a way mm. ki you know it's not my brother's responsibility ki wo apni behan ka khayal rakhe you know theek mm. hai parents tak baat sahi hai mm. mere bhai ki zimmedari nahi hai ki wo apni behan ko bhi sambhale aur ye bhi kare Although he was doing it, he'd never complained about it. But I could tell you didn't feel good about it. I didn't it, feel right? good about it, or, and I could see that on paper, stress or financial pressures are there. Mm. So I wanted that I go, I figure stuff out. I hopefully earn enough one day to be able to give money back to my parents, to be able to take care of them, and to help take care of the house. So this factor was there. Uh, but parents don't understand this. They don't understand that it's a new responsibility. You know, how is it? Daughter, or yeah, all yeah. of that. So um, here I. After the first month, my, uh, my mom was like, "You can leave," and I knew that who be उन्हें शायद इसलिए क्या कि you know maybe I'll be like नहीं मैं नहीं जाऊँगी <laughs> but I was like you know what okay I'll leave hmm. and then the day came to move out and I remember I I knew that my dad would have an issue hmm. um, and I knew my mom would not stop my dad because obviously and and this issue this is not what she wants हाँ yeah. obviously वो तो मुझे check करना so just the, when the day came I had my stuff packed. Uh, my friends were coming to pick me up the same friends i was renting the house with uh-huh. um and um, they were coming in an hour and i knew that my dad was sitting outside so what i did is that i in batches took my suitcases <gasps> you actually snuck out i didn't sneak out i just i just took my suitcases out pehle niche ja ke maine rakh diya acha acha so when they came to pick me up um i just like मुझे बस ताकि बस सामान गाड़ी में डालो और फिर जस्ट मेक इट क्विक एंड लाइक लाइक स्ट्रिपिंग ऑफ अ बैंडेज सो आई डिड आई डिड दैट एंड देन दे केम टू पिक मी अप एंड माय डैड वाज सिटिंग माय मॉम केम एंड शी वाज लाइक शी सेड शी सेड यू नो ये जा रही है एंड आई स्टूड देयर एंड आई एम लुकिंग एट माय डैड एंड ही वाज लाइक ही लुक्ड एट मी एंड ही वाज लाइक अच्छा बेटा जाओ खुश रहो एंड आई जस्ट स्टॉप्ड एंड आई वाज लाइक व्हाट एंड आई लुक्ड एट माय मॉम एंड माय मॉम लुक्ड एट मी एंड वी वर बोथ शॉक्ड व्हाट जस्ट हैपेंड एंड आई वाज लाइक Okay, and then I just ran because I was like before. Before he changed his mind, huh. Huh. So I was like, okay, bye. Huh. And then I ran. Um, and no, I hugged him and then I ran. And then mm. my mom was like in shock, and she was like, okay, I'm. Is he behind me or I'm? I'm just talking to him. So then she came down after me, mm. and at that time, pe, um, she knew those friends because um, they would come to the house as well. So they were like, auntie, have tension, na le, you know, we hum, we hum, we will keep it in mind, and he will. So he said, okay. so uh, to my mom said something which i still remember she was like you know ghar pe rehte hue to kuch nahi kar payi bahar jaake kya kar legi hmm. so that really like you know hit my heart cuz i was like okay ouch um hmm. uh, and and that kind of motivated me more ki okay i can't come back home now until i've proven myself proven right? myself or at least able to you know show my mom ke i can take care of you and i can take care of myself as well so उस उस आई थिंक दैट स्टेटमेंट स्टक विद मी एंड उसके बाद से आई वॉज लाइक ओके बस अब जो काम आता है मैंने करना है आई हैव टू फिगर आउट वट आई हैव टू डू एंड आई रिमेंबर वन आई मूव आउट उस टाइम पे आई वॉज वर्किंग थ्री जॉब्स द फर्स्ट जॉब वॉज टीचिंग इन एल जी एस एंड द सेकेंड जॉब वॉज आई वॉज टीचिंग इंग्लिश टू दिस कोरियन एक्सपैट्रियट्स उनके बच्चे यहाँ पे लाइक दे वर वर्किंग ऑन अ डैम प्रोजेक्ट एंड देव देर फैमिलीज विद दैम सो देर किड्स देर इंग्लिश वॉज इन दैट ग्रेट सो उनको मैं जाके इंग्लिश पढ़ाती थी and the third job was supposed to be my passion which was uh film and direction mm-hmm. uh, there was a drama serial being shot in islamabad and a friend of mine was like you know they're looking for assistant assistant directors and art directors so if you want i can get you um an internship there so i applied for that they were paying me 10000 for 2 months mm-hmm. and it was <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah it was and it, the hours were long and i 
I told them that you know this won't pay my rent, hmm. so I have a day job. Hmm. I can come after work. Hmm. So I was on, and I think your main focus would have been given a learning experience. Exactly. So this this part was not about the money. This wasn't paying the bills. Yeah, yeah this, this was, was your passion. Yeah. So I would go to work in the morning, six uh, a.m. till two p.m. with six seven year old kids. I come home, then from there I go to. Thrice a week, I would go for English tuitions. Uske before and baad, around 4 p.m., I would go all the way to Bani Gala, where they would shoot. Okay, okay. It was far. I would stop there till around... Oh my God, I hope my mom doesn't see this. Now you're wishing your mom doesn't see this. Because at that time, this part, I didn't tell her that I would go here. Because they have tension when I go out at night. So I would go to Bani Gala, I would... इंटर्न देर फिर मैं वहाँ से आई थिंक दस बजे या ग्यारह बजे कभी कभी इवन रात के दो बजे तक भी पैकअप होता था अच्छा मैं वहाँ से वापस आती आई वुड कम होम आई वुड फॉल अ स्लीप आई वुड वेक अप द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग गो टू वर्क सो इट वॉज लाइक क्रेजी हसल ब्लर ऑल्सो या इट वॉज अ क्रेजी हसल ऑल्सो वेन वी शिफ्ट इन टू द हाउस इट वॉज अ होल हाउस इमेजिन वी हैड नो फर्नीचर वी जस्ट हैड वन ए सी एंड थ्री मैट्रेस एंड ऑबियसली बड़े घर का बड़ा खर्चा होता है so uh, we used to all sleep together in one room mm. <laughs> and जब बारिश होती तो because you know you you haven't lived in a house so you don't know what the issues are until you live there बारिश होती तो बेसन में पानी आ जाता so sometimes we would come home from work we would see के बेसन में पानी खड़ा हुआ है and then <laughs> हम लोग बाइक पे देते हैं और but thankfully we would laugh through it all yeah. so it was it was some of the hardest months of my life but it was also the most the best months of my mm. life because I I was living those um, With people who were supportive, and you know, it, we were struggling together. Mm-hmm. So that really helped. And I remember, ke, I remember thinking, ke, okay, this feels more like a home and more like family than my own home did at times. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, हम लोग साथ बैठ के खाना खाते हम बातें करते we would share about our days, we would talk about stuff. Whereas at my own house, sometimes I would be like, okay, if I would talk about stuff, I would worry about the reaction. Yeah, I would worry about ke, अच्छा, I'm talking about my feelings. uh that's making them uncomfortable so mm-hmm. with my own family we, i didn't have that kind of understanding and relationship jisme hum feelings or emotions ki baatein karte mm-hmm. apne struggles or fears ki baatein karte i think that is not it's very rare yeah. in at least around me i don't see yeah. up shay thoda bahut i've seen some families but generally it's so rare and yeah. and like even i mean the sort of communication that you did with your mother in all of this entire time to convince her yeah. and everything you said people aren't able to do that it's it takes a lot of courage i mean probably took a lot of courage right like it took a long time for me to even reach to this point in my relationship with my mom it took years of starting from a levels like mm, you know ha huh. like starting from because i had to develop a trust with my mom Hmm. So even this, I knew she let me go because deep down she trusted me. Hmm. If I trust now, then I won't let you go. She would drag you back even Haan, if you left. She would have left. been like, a, you know, you can't no. leave. Haan. So she did have that that trust. Okay, you know, my daughter is a good person, and she's not doing this for the wrong reason. Hmm. But she couldn't openly admit it to me because that would mean acknowledging, or, or that would because her fear was stopping her. Yeah, from. yeah. And to this day, even abhi bhi. Um, She still tells me come back home. Uh, and she's like, you know, छोड़ दो सब कुछ घर आ जाओ. And ये घर आ जाओ ये शादी करो. And I'm like, अच्छा, ha- how is getting married different from me leaving the house? Hmm. She's like, no, I'll know you'll have someone to take care of you. I'm like, uh, but I'm taking care of myself. myself. Uh. And I'm, which I think for our parents, ये वाली बात अभी तक होती है कि marriage or family, having a family is important. Hmm. But what they don't understand is कि Family doesn't necessarily have to be people you're married into or um, related to. Family are people that you may sometimes get to know and befriend and yeah. take care of you. And I'm very fortunate that I've met people in my time in my life who have become family for me and mm-hmm. who I know that if I now phone them that I need help, those people will show up. Mm-hmm. So ये वाली फैमिली भी एक चीज़ होती है जो कि community basically because humans are herd creatures. We can't live completely alone. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you, the community that I built over the years have been people who've been struggling as well. Have been people who have come from 
um, families or come from situations which weren't the easiest. Mm. And they taught me resilience. They taught me, you know, because I feel like I still com- come from somewhat of a sheltered environment. Mm. So I don't consider myself as some kind of hero or some kind of, you know, person who has d- accomplished something. I think I chose the struggle for myself because I knew, okay, this is the only way I can grow. Mm. But there are people around me who couldn't choose. And if who, if they had the choice, they would would have chosen the comfort yeah. of their life as well. Yeah. And those are the people that I am inspired by. And those are the people that I want to be around because they show me, okay, you know, this is how you um, sur- survive in life or this is how you process what is happening to you in a positive way. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm grateful for that. And but, I think now I can say I have a family which is outside my family as well. Uh, but do you think that, um, do you, do you realize that your experience is extraordinary, right? Like you don't see this happening in Pakistan a lot, like, you know, where um, women can get up and move out, have these bold conversations. It's a very brave move, right? Because in our country, mein waise bhi girls living alone, mm-hmm. it's, there's security, safety issues. There's a lot there. Are there are a lot of issues, yeah. And huh. I, it's not easy. It's not, um, I, I think I got lucky in a lot of ways. I think that's why I thank God a lot because I think he may, had it been just me on my own moving out, I probably uh, would have come home in a month. <laughs> I, 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 uh, um, I think what inspired me was one of my teachers in university, Ma'am Hormat. Um, she had told us how when she was in university, um, or no, when she had graduated, I think, okay, she decided to move out on her own. Hmm. And her story was like, I didn't, she moved a <laughs> gali She was like, I'm moving out not because I'm leaving you, but I want to figure this out yeah so that stuck with me as well because i was like you know that's really inspiring um mm. kid, this is someone who wants to l- live life on her own two feet mm. and not feel like because treat kiya jata hai na ki, they need to be taken care haan, of inka protected inka protect ah. and my whole life that's how i was treated and that's why i felt so helpless Mm. Mm. And I was like, I can't live like this. I need to learn how to take care of myself. You know what you're saying? You, <laughs> this is so funny, but <laughs> you know what this is, feels like? Because you have that sort of personality. You were, you were like a very delicate person huh. to, to, you know, talk to, like the way you talk, the way you are, you're like petite, you know. <laughs> and um, you're kind of like bubbles, you know. <laughs> and, and there was this episode of Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, just I so <laughs> They are hardcore or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna be badass. <laughs> <laughs> so you're kind of like like I get those vibes. I think you that's know? yeah, that's that was what I tried to do as well. Like <laughs> I want to show them I can be taken seriously. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yeah, I think that's probably what it was for me as well because I I'm also kind of um very um I wouldn't say spaced out, but I have I have that nature just may thodi see like chaotic bhi hoti so for my family they were like okay how is she gonna survive in this world isko to dunia bech ke kha jayegi you know ah. ye to, ye to chal sakti. Hmm. and when I was a kid I used to get bullied hmm. which my family knew about so they were also like you know, ye maar ke a you know are you an Aquarian no I'm a Gemini you're a Gemini yeah so for them this was the mindset ke, you know she is fragile hmm. my sisters and my brother like they were somewhat street smart in the sense ke they would like I mean it wasn't that I was weak I just didn't really care. Like I would go to school, I would just give up my lunch if someone asked me for it. Haan. So my mom had to pack double lunch for me. Ke, chalo, ye iska hai aur ye sakti hai. Mm. So basically, yeah. I think your family always thought that you don't know how to protect yourself. So they overprotected you, which actually led you to be rebellious about the fact that yeah. no, I can protect myself, you know, exactly. given the chance. And I think living at home was not giving you that chance, right? They were just trying to protect me, but in that protection, they were also crippling me. Yeah. Because I started believing that I can do it. Yes, yes. And then I started seeing myself through their lens. Okay, okay, what will happen to me? Yeah. So I think that realization eventually, I'm grateful for that. And I think, you know, this is where university, like I would say I'm grateful for my teachers, I'm grateful for my friends. Uh, I'm grateful for all the people I met whose stories I heard, who showed me, you know, um, you can be more than what you think you are. Mm. This is so interesting, this thing that you said, because I think most girls and women are crippled in the name of protection. Yeah. And they, that's how they lose all kinds of power. Yeah. Because, you know, you're like, you know, but what does that eventually do? 
it does nothing for them does, they, yeah. they don't get to experience stuff they don't get exposure they don't learn things they don't grow they eventually don't get empowered they're also right? told that you know their life will begin after they're married yeah tab uh, kar lena <laughs> and that also really scared me because um i was like i don't want i don't want to be dependent on another person for my happiness mm. or for all of that um the idea of marriage scared me mm. um not because i don't think marriage isn't a beautiful thing mm. it's just that even in my parents life i saw my they i saw how much they sacrificed themselves for their kids i was like shaadi ke baad aapke bachcho jaate hain aur phir aap bachcho ki zindagi ke bare mein sochte ho to aapki apni zindagi kab aati so what do you mean like what do you mean that my life will begin Haan. because it what is my life no it won't because what is your life you know are you living your life right now after being married are you enjoying yourself right now hmm. so that's what my mother says as well hmm. ke humne hame wo hi kehte hain ke shaadi ke baad hogi but shaadi ke baad most women spend their lives at least in their generation has spent their life for their husbands and for their kids exactly. and she is like you know hame hum hum jo aurte hamari life kab shuru hoti hai 40s 50s mein When jab hum have married yeah, and they've done everything yeah aur usme bhi like companionship mostly unke husband ke sath hoti hai and you know like that's it and most women then think about doing what they've always wanted to do exactly. like you know um क्या जो भी कुछ भी करना यू नो देन दे स्टार्ट डूइंग परसुइंग दोज थिंग्स इवन इवन देन समटाइम्स फॉर एग्जांपल बाय देन सम वेमेन हैव कंडीशन देमसेल्व्स टू थिंक कि नहीं बस दिस इज इट हां मोस्ट ऑफ देम डोंट मोस्ट ऑफ देम डोंट फॉर देम व्हेन देयर किड्स आर गॉन और दे हैव लेफ्ट द नेस्ट दे गेट डिप्रेस्ड बिकॉज़ दे आर एम्प्टी नाउ बिकॉज़ दे आर लाइक हमारी जिंदगी यही थी अब हम क्या करें सो उनको उनका वो क्राइसिस उस टाइम पे आता है क्योंकि हमारा आई थिंक मेरा अभी आ गया था बिकॉज आई थॉट अबाउट डेथ अर्ली ऑन बट उनके केस में आई थिंक तब होता है मेक सेंस बिकॉज उन्होंने लाइक यू सेट कि उनकी सारी हैप्पीनेस जो है उनके बच्चों से टायर्ड होती है और उनकी अचीवमेंट से और उनकी लाइफ से एंड वन और उनकी खुशी से अभी भी मैम से कमी आप खुश लाइक यू नो आप कब खुश होंगी चीज़ एक मेरी खुशी मेरे बच्चों की खुशी वट इज़ दिस and so, so there's so much pressure on me to be happy now mm-hmm. and what if i'm not happy so ye bhi hota hai ki parents ke samne aap udaas bhi nahi ho sakte aapko aapko you know uh, being sad feels like you're hurting them yeah, yeah. and th- that should not be the case i think kids should be able to share whatever they're feeling with their parents and um their parents should be able to accept that yeah. you know uh, apne be- bachche ko ab har दुनिया से नहीं बचा सकते इन द सेंस के दुख और दर्द आने हैं सो माई रिज वल टीच दम हाउ टू फील दोज अर्ली ऑन एंड फेस दम अर्ली ऑन रादर दैन लीव दम टू दर्ल्स सो इंटरेस्टिंगली वट यू आर सेंग इज दैट रादर दैन कॉन्स्टेंटली प्रोटेक्टिंग दैम एंड लेटिंग दैम बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन यू empower them to be able to do this on देर ओन राइट लाइक फॉल लेट दम स्ट्रगल लेट दम फेल लेट दम गेट हर्ट आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर बेटर फॉर अ किड दैन टू कॉडल अकेड एंड टू लेट दम थिंक के बस लाइक इन माई केस आई मुझे अभी तक याद है कि मैं कुछ भी करने की कोशिश करती ना घर में मैं माउंड भी लाइक तुमसे नहीं होगा छोड़ दो मैं कर लेती हूँ एंड शी वॉज डूइंग इट आउट ऑफ लव बट आई इंटरनलाइज दैट फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम एंड इवन आफ्टर आई मूव आउट आई थिंक इट टुक मी अ लॉन्ग टाइम टू रीच दिस पॉइंट लाइक अभी भी मुझे कभी कभार होता है मैं फर्स्ट इंस्टिंक्ट वन एवर टू डू समथिंग न्यू is i can do this yeah because this is what your brain has been wired to yeah. think now with the lack of self belief yeah. you know that you need one of the things that you need really from your parents is for them to believe in you because when they believe in you you yeah. believe in yourself yeah. and this is something that i try to keep in mind even right now because even though my son is very young yeah. right now <laughs> but when he's trying to do something and he's failing at it i had this urge to quickly fix it for him, it for him. Yeah. Um, कोई भी वो टॉय में कुछ करे कुछ भी कर रहा है यू नो अगर वो ही इज ट्राइंग टू वॉक यू नो गो गेट समथिंग सो आई बी अर्ज टू जस्ट गो डू इट फॉर हिम देन आई टेल माई सेल्फ नो लाइक हाँ एंड वेन ही कान दैन द फर्स्ट थिंग आई सी आई टेल हिम कि यू कैन डू इट डू इट यू कैन डू इट एंड देन इफ इनफ टाइम्स लाइक ही कान डू इट एंड ही फील्स अ फ्रस्ट्रेशन देन यू नो आई हेल्प हिम डू इट बिकॉज इम्पोर्टेंट ये वाली सपोर्ट जो थी ना आई थिंक वॉज इन देयर बिकॉज आउट ऑफ फियर आई थिंक जब आपके दिल में खौफ होता है ना कि ओके माई चाइल्ड विल स्ट्रगल और माई चाइल्ड विल फेल एंड इट के इवन विद माई डैड आई थिंक ही ऑल्सो लव हिज किड्स अ लॉट बट ही कूडेंट स्टैंड लाइक विद माई सिस्टर इमेजिन ही डेंट सेंड हर टू स्कूल ये रोएगी तो उसको मुझसे नहीं देखा जाता है उसका रोना 
So I have a scar on my eye. I don't know if you can see this. Mm. So when I was a kid, I fell on a glass table and I cut my eye, mm. and I had to get stitches. Mm. My dad took me to the doctor, and I was crying so much. Okay, my dad was like, "Nine, <laughs> oh, he was like, 'What's what's the yoga?' Ah. So I couldn't. I couldn't see it. So then he took we went to a family friend who was a nurse, and she put man. Like a bandit on me, so now I'm like, okay, my stitches like wah dete, I'm ruining it. But I understand it was it was their love, mm. so I also don't hold it against them. Mm. But I also know with my kids, I'm going to make sure they have a lot of healthy trauma in their life. <laughs> 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 they grow from it, and um. they don't become like uh, they don't reach my age or my time. Pe aake wo is tarah na, because mm. I learned a lot of things very late in life. I realize, um, and. काफ़ी चीज़ें ऐसी थी जो कि वैन आई मूवड इन विद माई हाउस मेट्स बिकॉज दे एड बिन लिविंग एंड डूइंग स्टफ फॉर दम सेल्स फॉर लॉट लॉन्गर दे वुड बी लाइक ओके यू नो शी डजेंट नो दिस बट दैन दे वुड शो मी एंड दे वुड दे वुड डू इन दे वर काइंड ऑफ लाइक माई पेरेंट्स इन अ वे एज वेल बिकॉज दे डेंट हैव दैट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ पेरेंटल फियर सो वो मुझे सिखाते हैं अभी वो भी मुझे कहते हैं कि नो यू ग्रो ना लॉट सिंस यू मूवड इन विद अस एंड उसके बाद फिर मैं लाहौर शिफ्ट हो गई इवेंचुअली And that was also another transition. Like, Acha, why did you move to Lahore? So when I was working with, um, I think oh, I forgot to tell you my <laughs> timeline. Ha ha ha. Uh, so we were somewhere. Ha. We were somewhere. Ha. I ha. So I was uh, working at LGS. I was interning. Ha. I was doing three jobs. Ha. I did that till f- that for six months, and us time pe ye internship khatam ho gayi, mm. and they told me ke you know ham do mahine baad we're gonna be shooting a film. Mm. And you can come work with us then. So I told them clearly that if I come work with you on a film, I'll have to come full time, huh. and I will have to quit leave my other jobs. And that means I you need to pay me enough that I can pay my rent. So they were like, okay, we'll let you know. So I had that in mind. So I quit my teaching job. I left my tu- uh, tuition value job, and I was like, okay, next step is focusing on this. Mm. They never got back. <gasps> oh no! Yeah, it was it was scary. Uh, so वो दो महीने जो थे मेरे um were so stressful because I was like I have to pay rent. Hmm. I have zero jobs. I have no money. What do I do? And that was actually the point in my life where I the only thing I could have was faith. Hmm. So I I was like okay Alhamdulillah <laughs> you know hmm. this is this is something I have to accept कि ये this is खुदा की मर्जी और ये ये जो हो रहा है ये किसी वजह से हो रहा है and इसमें कुछ ना कुछ होना है. And I remember at that time, pay I um, was talking to my friends, my university kids, your friends there, who had seen me through the process of moving out as well. But they were not all in one country; they were all over the place. So I was telling them, "Okay, hey guys, um, I'm gonna be homeless." <laughs> so Aww. and I was laughing about it. I was just joking about it, and they were also laughing about it. Mm. And at um, that time, pay um, I think I also went to one of my classmates' wedding. just me i ran into some old classmates and we were catching up so unme se ek ko bhi maine i was one of my friends uh, from university who i had met in a while i was telling him ki yeah you know um uh, i this is my situation ye main bhi kar rahi hu then haste haste i was like like i i'm probably going to be homeless soon <laughs> mm-hmm. so vaisi so i i mean i was just laughing my way through it because i was like mai ro nahi sakti ab because i can't afford to break and mm. us time i remember my mom was also calling me and telling me every day ke come home mm. and she would say things like ke you know you've left us you've abandoned us uh, like but she, a lot of emotional a lot of emotional blackmail mm. and she would say stuff like you know you've left your parents alone hum oh. hum agar neend mein mar gaye to you know tumhe pata bhi nahi chale you know is tarah ki baat hai oh my god yeah she was using every every that's a lot to i know and i would just i remember i wouldn't sleep all night and i would just cry and i would just be like okay i need to like i, I mean i can't go home like this i mean i don't want to go home because of this i need hmm. to go home when i'm able to take care of them hmm. so and beech mein ek points bhi aate where i was like maybe i should go home maybe hmm. i should um like you know maybe i this is god's way of telling me ki you're on the wrong path um so ye wale phases bhi mere paas aaye the beech mein but then i remember um this friend of mine who doesn't live in pakistan she messaged me and she was like i need a favor i was like what's up she's like i've been trying to send some money to my mom but she unka account nahi kaam kar raha so i need you to uh, transfer it to her and if i send it to you can you send it to her so i was like theek hai hmm so she sent some money in my account and I was like, wait, why is it from a Pakistani account? And I, yeah. I messaged her. I was like, listen, my pass pay se aage, mujhe ak- dusra account number do. I'll transfer to her. So then she sent me this really long message, and which made me cry. Mm. It was 
um oh my god i'm going to cry again <laughs> but oh. she was basically saying ke um you know this money is from all of us all of my friends from university she's like we wa- we don't want you to give up and we think you're doing great and we, we want you to keep doing what you're doing so this is a gift from us to you you, you don't and we know ke you know you're not going to accept it so you you can't pay us back and you can't send this back either so this is from us to you and this is for your rent hmm. um that's when i was like okay there's people who you know actually believe in me and hmm. they actually want me to keep doing what i'm doing and they have faith in me because uh by this point they had also seen the struggle i'd gone through and they had seen ki you know mai kis tarah kitna zyada kaam kar rahi thi mm. so they were like no you can't go home right now mm. so so that really touched my heart mm. and uske thode years se baad um uh and and it wasn't the complete money for the like for them it was just enough to help mm. um uske uske baad this um the other friend of mine who I ran into to at the wedding messaged me and he was like you know I'm looking for someone to work with me uh, at my restaurant I need someone to do like video work and photography work so I want to work with you uh, I also know that you have to pay your rent so I'm going to give you the money in advance uh-huh. and you can pay me back in batches that also really touched my heart because I wasn't expecting h- him to do that either so mm-hmm. I told him I was like I can't take your money like this I don't, you know I don't feel comfortable um and he was also like don't tell anyone i'm doing this uh, <laughs> so you know that really i mean i knew that these were people who were doing it because they genuinely cared mm. and not because they were trying to prove anything or do anything they had no ulti- ulterior motives Motive. right uh. um so i i mean and he also knew i wouldn't accept the money so he was like you know it's not a it's not a, it's not, i'm not giving you the money you're going to pay me back in work mm. so i was like of course mm. um so इन इन दो की वजह से आई थिंक मेरे तीन महीने का रेंट और हो गया सो आई वॉज सो आई थ्री मोर मंथ्स टू फिगर माई लाइफ आउट एंड कोइंसिडेंटली डूरिंग दैट टाइम आई गॉट अ फोन कॉल फ्राम वन ऑफ दल्ड एम्प्लॉयज इन आई कन सेवन हुई ही कॉल मीन ही वॉज एक् आते का आर यू लुकिंग फॉर सम वर्क आई डोंट इवन नो हाउ ही न्यू आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर वर्क ही वॉज एक् देर इज एन एजेंसी लुकिंग फॉर वर्क इन आई टेन And you know they they're looking for someone for this. I was like, that's great, but I live in E Eleven. Mm. Um, do you know any places I could work over there? Mm. He was like, yeah, we've shifted shifted our office to E Eleven. Why don't you come to Icon Seven in that case? I was like, ah, what? Acha, that's when you. Acha, okay, then you went back to Icon Seven. Then I went back to Icon Seven. Ah, and I remember I messaged my boss. <laughs> It was really funny. Mm. This was I think a year after um I had left. I reached out to him, or maybe a year. Or Two years, a year and a half. Mm. I reached out to him and I was like, "Hey, what's up?" <laughs> He's like, "Hey, nothing. How's it going?" Mm. I was like, "I'm looking for some work, mm. and I he- I hear you have an opening. I'd like to apply." And he was like, "Okay, come for an interview tomorrow mm. at 10 a.m. and uh, we'll fi- see what we can do." So I went for the interview. I met him. I talked to him, and I told him where I was in life. And he was also really shocked mm. because the last time he saw me, I was this. crying girl yeah. in his office didn't know what she was doing in life so he was like okay he was really happy to see that i had chosen my own path and i wasn't uh, settling Th- he then he offered me a job i started working with him for 3 months um th- that was a probation period i mean obviously i for them there were there was no question asked but after 3 months they gave me an increment and they were like okay we want to keep you long term and then i start worked with them for a year and a half and usse bhi struggles the because initially i was like many creative mini mene account management pe jana i want to learn something new <laughs> um, i didn't realize how stressful account management and dealing achha. is because clients are really annoying mm. you know they they really um everyone thinks they know what they're doing best so they yeah. would uh, and i would be the person who would have to be in between them and the creators <laughs> so i would also have to accommodate the um, sense emotional sensitivities of the creatives while also the demand the client happy. yeah So I realized this job is stress really stressful mm-hmm. and I have a lot of other stresses in my life <laughs> as it is. Uh, so I can't do this. Mm. So then I moved back into cre- creative strategy. Um they moved me in that department and I was in charge of the concepts and that stuff I enjoyed. So mm. this department mujhe maza aaya. I was working there. And during that time I was I had told my boss this ke you know this thank you for hiring me but i will need to do freelance work on the side hmm. to pay my bills hmm. and pay my rent and he was like i understand he accepted that so us time pe beech mein i got freelance work kuch projects maine eyes aur hisham ke sath video ki editing bhi ki thi acha ki thi i uski documentary i edited that with him 
I did some report designing. I did random photography for people. If, and I also had to pay back that friend who, uh, <laughs> if he ever gave me work, I did that for him. And coincidentally, because we were an agency, we had different people. We had photographers and um, videographers as well. So one of the photographers I worked with, he used to do freelance work as well on the side. And he told me, he was like, hey, you're skinny. <laughs> I was like, okay. He was like, do you want to uh, do a shoot? And I was like, I can't. My family won't be okay with it. Okay, before we go there, huh. I want to ask you, okay, um, because obviously at this point, financially, life was very difficult for you, right? Yeah. Jobs didn't have rent, tha, bill. Tha. Yeah. Did you ever feel like, did you consider that I go home again? A, and B, did it ever feel like you regretted that decision? And also, did it feel like a... So, it's like, a, you know, pehle bhi ek life thi when you were living with your mom and your family. Or then a life thi just me you were independent, but it came with its own issues, like financial stress and burden that you didn't have as much back then. So, did it feel like a, kabhi at one at any point that it was better, this is too much? Or you would... Because... Because you stuck by it. So I do think that you still thought, Ki, nahi, this is it. But what were your thoughts? Did these thoughts come? Um, so one thing I will say is that I became a lot more grateful for my family after I moved out. Mm. Because moving out, even though they, were, they weren't happy with me moving out, mm. the love was there. So my mom would still, um, every time I would go home, she would pack food for me. And not just for me, for my housemates as well. Mm. She'd be like, you can take food. So she made sure that I'm eating right. And my brother also, like, even though when I was moving out, he was very angry. He would still, you know, be like, okay, I'll drop you. Mm. I'll pick you. Mm. And um, when I would come home, sometimes I'd be like, oh, um, can I take some fruits? <laughs> so he would joke, okay, you know, you come to grocery shopping. <laughs> so they would joke about it as well. So... It, they, there wasn't an open acceptance, but they were also being supportive in their own. They were showing their love non-verbally, which I could see and I could appreciate. Because, you know, when your own fridge is empty, like, I couldn't tell my mom where, because there were days when we were the fridge was empty and food not So on those days, I was grateful that my mom had sent food. I wouldn't tell her, but she had sent food. Or we would do this, that there were friends, hote, we'd be like, hey, what's for dinner? We're coming over. Hmm. So we had a lot of friends like that as well who opened their homes to us and who would just be like, aajo, khana saath khate hai, or hmm. ye hai. So in this case, mein, I was very grateful. Hmm. Um, I did, going back home wasn't an option for me because okay. I was like, I can't go back yet. I can't, not, not like Why? that. Why? Because I wanted to be able to go back because I knew as soon as I go back home, the dynamic would revert to how it was. And I could not live like that. Um, I couldn't. I knew I wouldn't be happy there. And I knew if I was unhappy, it won't. Parents just want to see their kids happy at the end of the day, right? So if I'm not happy at home and I'm not happy at home, then what is the benefit? Rather than me being exhausted and drained physically and uh, mentally, but at least I'm happy with what I'm doing. Or at least I'm choosing my own struggle. I don't regret it. So that for me was... More than being comfortable at home. Hmm. Um, second point kya tha that you asked? Haan, ye tha ki, did you regret or did you want to go home? I didn't regret it. I did miss them. Uh. I was homesick. I would, I, but that's, that was really hard because I couldn't even call my mom up and say I miss you. Because I knew if I did that, she would be like, uh. If she even sensed for a second that I'm unhappy, she would have come over and Drag me back home. Yeah, you couldn't be, you couldn't show your, yeah. your weakness right now and I, vulnerability you were at a weak point. Like you had to be. I could not. Yeah. Even if I got sick, I couldn't tell her. I would have to pretend I'm fine. And Oh God, yeah. yeah. So yeah, there I were days when I was really sad and upset. And I remember my mom would call and I would have, I would have to be, pretend, I would pretend to be happy. I'd uh, be like, oh, it's, I'm great. Everything's great. Life's good. Life's amazing. Uh, and then I would hang up and cry. Uh, so it's going to be the The third thing I asked was that, um, did you think that that struggle was better than struggle? Se? But did you ever feel like okay, wo behitar tha? Yeah, you were like, nah, this is, I choose this struggle still. I think this struggle, I, I would choose a million times over because ghar pe jo struggle tha, it wasn't really a struggle, it was hopelessness. Uh-huh. I, uh-huh. I, it was me not being true to who I am and what I wanted to do in life. And 
even though I still didn't know what I was doing, at least I was exploring it. Uh, at home, I was didn't have the option. I didn't not even the option. I didn't have the motivation to fight for what I want to do because I didn't want to upset my family in that way. Hmm. In this case, me, I was like, okay, this part is upset. Hai. मुझे रोज नई बैटल नहीं करनी पड़ेगी मुझे रोज लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन एवर जॉब वुड कम अप आई वुड बी लाइक आई डू इट एट होम आई वुड हैव टू थिंक अबाउट इट आई वुड हैव टू थ्रू द होल प्रोसेस ऑफ फिगरिंग आउट कि मैं किस तरह उनको बताऊँ मैं ये कर रही हूँ मैं क्यों कर रही हूँ सो यू चोज दिस स्ट्रगल राइट इंटरेस्टिंगली लाइक यू मूव आउट अंडर सर्कमस्टांसिस दैट डेंट फोर्स यू टू मूव आउट यू मूव आउट बिकॉज दैट वॉज यूर ओन चॉइस um and that's very rare like i mentioned before um so it's interesting that your <laughs> inherent um it there was a thing inside you which was so strong that even though you could choose a life of comfort at home and not have to worry about so many things you still wanted to uh you wanted your freedom and you wanted your own will i mean it really shows how much you value um freedom and yourself I guess. I don't uh. know. If that's how it was when I f- was first moving out. No, but by, by like my general nature, yeah, it is. Yeah. I, do, um, I I would say I do value my own freedom, and I I do value my own choices in life. Huh. Um, and I, it makes you unhappy if you can't do that. Yeah, A lot of people are not like that because you know I'm like that. I really value my freedom and my yeah. choice. And there are times that I've had to do things that I didn't want to do. You know. um and i think if i have to pinpoint those were the worst things that i had to experience ki mujhe ye kyun karna pad raha hai which is not true to me which is not true for me but why do i have to do these things and that is a very difficult to live with so yeah. i know yeah it is it is hard because you feel like you're letting yourself down yeah. and i think ye ye wali cheez isliye mai um कहती हूँ कि आई डोंट रिग्रेट इट बिकॉज वन यू आर नॉट ट्रू टू योर सेल्फ यूर नॉट बींग ट्रू टू एनी वन एल्स अराउंड यू इधर एंड यूर नॉट बींग योर मोस्ट अथेंटिक माई मोस्ट अथेंटिक सेल्फ आई नो के आई एम अ वेरी हैप्पी पर्सन एंड आई आई नो के आई लव मेकिंग पीपल अराउंड मी हैप्पी सो आई वॉज इवन एबल टू डू दैट एट होम आई वॉज इज डिप्रेसिंग माई फैमिली बिकॉज माई मॉम वुड बी लाइक तुम लाइक देर वॉज अ पॉइंट वेर आई वुड नॉट लीव माई बेड ऑल डे लाइक आई वुड कम होम फ्रॉम वर्क आई वुड लाइन बेड एंड आई वुड स्टे इन बेड Mm. And then on weekends, I wouldn't even get out of bed, mm. and I would have I wouldn't have the f- energy physically, and I didn't know. Time pe I was depressed or I was going through a depressive state, but my mom would see me and she was like, "What's wrong with you?" Mm. And she would be worried. She would be like, "I'm worried about you." Mm. So that would make me feel worse because <laughs> mm. I'm like, "Okay, I'm I can't even be sad alone." Mm. So part of my reason for moving out was, "Okay, okay, at least I'll be I can be sad openly." Ha. <laughs> so, <laughs> but. Thankfully, um, बाहर जाके भी लाइक मूविंग आउट आई आई लर्न दैट एंड आई डिड हैव दिस इन मी कि मैं अपने कमरे में रहती थी ज़्यादा एंड आई वुडन लीव माई हाउस मेट्स पुल मी आउट ऑफ दैट दे वुड भी लाइक नहीं नीचे आओ हम साथ बैठ के खाना खाएंगे और यू नो और दिस गुड टेल आई एम सेट ऑफ दिस सॉमी क्राइंग दे वुड कम एंड दे वुड कंसोल मी दे वुड टॉक टू मी दे फोर्स मी टू बिकम सम वन हु इज कम्फर्टेबल ओपनिंग अप बिकॉज आई इट वॉज इन माई नेचर टू शो पीपल हाउ एम फीलिंग और शो द माई पेन सो I think I learned how to be vulnerable after moving out because mm-hmm. my f- first instinct is to just pretend I'm fine and not show anyone whatever I'm feeling. Mm-hmm. So that that's how I also learned to kind of um open up with my family more as well because I realized that there's, there's certain conversations jo bahut mushkil hoti hain lekin it's better to open and ha- openly have them than to hold them in. Mm-hmm. And I say that I started while living away from my family i would go home i would notice things i was like okay this isn't really good for our dynamic or this is dysfunctional or ye cheez is kyun ho rahi hai aise so i would start bringing them up mm-hmm. and i would start talking to my mom about it and trying to explain it to her or if um if i wasn't able to explain it to her i would be like okay i would make a mental note ki when i'm able to i'm going to change this you know uh-huh. when i'm able to financially afford this i'll do this so mm-hmm. all of these things just i mean i started noticing them and saying ki okay this is something i have to do and i will do eventually mm-hmm. Okay so back to your friend somebody who said that you were skinny yeah. <laughs> your colleague yeah. yeah he like he was i think he was he was um he was like yeah we're looking for someone to do a web shoot for one of the brands i shoot for mm. and don't worry my shakal nahi aayegi gardan the crop karenge 
Acha, acha, acha. He was like, oh, you know, we'll pay you and stuff. Oh, so then that's why then you didn't have that fear that someone will take you. I was like, okay, that's fine. Ah. I'll, I'll just be like a headless model. Ah. So I started doing that on the side sometimes, occasionally, and it was good. Like it was decent money. Ke, you know, extra money was coming to me. Pas. Uske saath saath, um, I honestly still don't know how I got into modeling because us, that wasn't the reason. Hmm. Um, उसके साथ ये हुआ था कि हाँ आई यूज टू गो टू लाहौर माई बेस्ट फ्रेंड मेरी बचपन की दोस्त मरियम शी गॉट मैरिड एंड शी केम टू पाकिस्तान अराउंड दैट टाइम एज वेल एंड शी वॉज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द पीपल हु पुश्ट मी के यू नो मूव आउट फिगर थिंग्स आउट एंड शी वॉज लाइक लाइक शी वॉज लाइक यूर विल्टिंग इन अ वे के यू नो आई सी आई आई सी योर पोटेंशियल बट यूर नॉट डूइंग इट एंड शी वॉज समन हु आई हैड ऑलवेज सीन बींग वेरी इंडिपेंडेंट एंड वेरी कि यू नो टेलिंग हर पेरेंट्स कि नहीं मैंने यही करना है एंड डूइंग इट एंड हम दोनों ने साथ बाई द वे गैप ईयर लेकिन काम भी किया था सो आई वुड सी हाउ आई आई एक्चुअली एंड हर फैमिली वॉज अ लॉट मोर प्रोटेक्टिव दैन माइन एंड शी रिबिल्ड अगेंस्ट दैट एंड शी यू नो इवेंचुअली बिल्ड अ हेल्थी डायनामिक विद दम एज वेल सो शी वुड बी लाइक लिसन इफ आई कैन यू नो बिल्ड दिस डायनामिक विद माई पेरेंट्स वाई कैंट यू एंड आई वुड बी लाइक नो 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 इट्स डिफरेंट माई मॉम इज more scary <laughs> <laughs> and uh-huh. she would be like i mean she would be like i've met your mom she's not mm. so usne mujhe bahut push kiya tha to us time pe so she was the only person i could call at the time and really who who understood my family dynamic because she had grown up with me in a way as well mm. so i would call her whenever things were hard or whenever my mom would call and say things to me that were upsetting and if if i got really sad she'd be like come to lahore come stay with me for the weekend and you know you can get your mind off this So when I would get really sad, I would just take a bus to Lahore, stay with her for the weekend, cry on her couch sometimes, uh-huh. <laughs> watch movies, and then I would come back. Hmm. And during one of these trips, I remember she was like, um, "So Maryam was also uh, she's a stylist, she's a fashion stylist. So she's someone. Uh, when I first started, sh- when I first got my first camera in Saudi after working, so हम दोनों अपनी छत पे जा के ना pictures लेते थे, and I would take her pictures, she would take my pictures, and we would just enjoy like doing all of that." Okay. So this one time I was staying with her. She was like, "Listen, I need a favor." I was like, "What?" She said, "There's a model I had to shoot with and shoot an editorial with, but she cancelled, and I have to shoot this by tomorrow. Mm. Since you're staying here, why don't we do it together? It'll be fun. It'll be like our own, you know, हमारे बचपन की like nostalgia factor आ जाएगा." Mm. So um, I said, uh, "Where's it gonna go?" Mm. She was like, "Oh, it's only gonna be in print. It's gonna, it, it, was, it was for Grazia." Acha. She's like, it's only going to be in print. It's not going to be on social media. Hmm. And I was like, my mom is <laughs> going to be like, "Kya tum ye ghar chhod ke karne gaye?" <laughs> Us time uh, pe in my mind, it, modeling wasn't even yeah. an option. Yeah. I, but she was like, "No, it's going to be fun. Let's do it." So I did that editorial with her, and it was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I was like, "Hey, this is fun," because it was a creative shoot. Hmm. Um, wo maine kia, and uh, uske baad main wapis aayi. Um, and we did post the pictures on social media but it was more like it, i mean it was more for my own self mm-hmm. um mai wapas aayi uske kuch arse baad uh, this friend of a friend was looking for a model mm-hmm. for a brand called Kyle in Islamabad mm-hmm. she was like i need a model so she asked people to recommend I, oh i also forgot during this time ye bhi hota tha ki while i was working in icon 7 we would have clients jinke liye hame photography or videos karni hoti and who didn't have a budget for actors or models uh, so my office people would be like to hum kar lo ha office hi logo ko utha lo yeah office ke logo ko pakad lo har koi aa jata ha. so is tarah ki hum karte rehte the like we would just put our own people in the shoots um so unme se kuch pictures achhi thi to i would post them on my social cuz i was like hey this is cute hmm so ye hua tha and uh, mariam ke sath maine editorial kiya tha and ye kyle online wali jo bandi hai she um asked for someone to recommend people so that friend sent my profile mm. so she really liked it and she was like you know i want to shoot with her can you ask if she'd be interested and they messaged um, me and i was like why not us time pe i it wasn't it was more because i had enjoyed the editorial uh, and i enjoyed you know that aspect of it. i was like why not it'll be fun yeah so what a great decision in hindsight like us waqt you wouldn't have thought ke you know your this is going to impact your whole life ha huh. Yeah, I mean, us time pe I wasn't. Um, I think I was more open to trying new things, mm-hmm. and my in, my initial instinct of saying no to everything or thinking I can't do it was a, a lot less. So 
when this opportunity came i was like hey why not like let's see what happens and it could be fun hmm. and i actually did enjoy doing it so hmm. and then did how did this modeling thing proceed then after that um, so iske baad i was still working at icon 7 hmm. and i was still um, like my main goal was to keep working i wasn't expecting ki modeling would be a career that i'm going to start doing full time hmm. mainly because i didn't expect my family to accept it to ye wala fear to phir bhi tha ke even though i enjoy doing this I don't think मैं इतना ज़्यादा अपनी फैमिली की बाउंड्रीज को पुश कर सकती हूँ उनके एक्सेप्टेंस को सो आई वॉज स्टिल रिजिस्टिंग दैट बट दैन लाइक आई सेड द यूनिवर्स हैज़ अ वे ऑफ मेकिंग थिंग्स फॉल इन टू प्लेस बिकॉज कायल वली थिंग के बाद मुझे आई गॉर अ कॉल फ्राम दिस डिज़ाइनर कॉल टू सेंड रिहार एंड ही वॉज लाइक के यू नो आई एम डूइंग एन एडिटोरियल शूट जिसमें आई आई वो रेडी डन द मेन कैंपेन आई नीड टू रीशूट थ्री आउटफिट्स एंड आई वुड लाइक टू डू इट विद यू एंड इट वॉज अ पेड शूट बट आई टोल्ड हेम के यू नो आई एम इन इस्लामाबाद आई वुड लव टू वर्क विद यू आई लव योर क्लोथ्स वन जो सुपर एक्साइटेड के हुसैन रिहार आई वॉज आई वॉज रियली हैप्पी आई वॉज लाइक वाओ आई लव इज क्लोथ सो आई टोल्ड हेम के आई डू इट बट आई जस्ट नीड If you could pay for my transport, that would be great. Hmm. Um, so he did, which was really nice of him. And hmm. I went to Lahore for a day. I did that shoot. I came back, and I think I f- I'm forgetting one thing. Ah, uh-huh, I forgot this one experience. Hmm. So after I did the, ah, um, uh-huh, I think Hussein Rehar wali cheese. I didn't do it. After that, I got a call one day randomly. Call I thi. Call didn't message on Instagram. Pe, um, from this girl who was like, "Hey, Atika." Are you uh, interested in modeling for outfitters? Hmm. And I was like, "Is this a joke?" <laughs> But so why is outfitters asking me? Yeah. Huh? I was like, "What?" Hmm. Uh, so I messaged my friend Maryam. I was like, "Hey, listen, um, is um, is this? Do you think this is something that is an actual thing, or because she's a stylist, so she knows knows people. the industry?" Huh? So she was like, "Yeah, this person is legit." Um, and she was like, "Do it if it's a thing, then do it." So I. reply to her and i was like yeah sure why not uh she messaged me on thursday night and she was like i'll confirm to you by friday or saturday if it's happening because the shoot is on monday hmm. so friday passed i didn't get a call or message hmm. saturday passed i didn't get a call or message and then on sunday i was like okay this is not, not happening ha ab tak pata chal gaya hota ab tak mujhe pata chal jata agar hona tha to and i was okay with it frankly because it was also my first day of period so i was I had major cramps hmm. and I was in bed and I was like okay it's not happening it's all right you know ye bhi khuda ki marzi thi <laughs> at around 4:30 or uh, 4ish mujhe yaad hai i 4:30 i get a notification on my phone and us time i was trying to sleep i was trying to take a nap <laughs> <laughs> i see a message and it says that you've been added into a group called outfitters campaign shoot uh <laughs> and i was like okay ye kya ho raha hai ha and i immediately picked up my phone i checked the group and it, they were like call time 3am hmm and i was sitting in islamabad at this point hmm. and the location was for the shoot was in lahore hmm i immediately messaged the girl who had reached out to me and said hey you never got back to me confirming the shoot and i am still in islamabad so she calls me and she goes um एक काम करो तुम अभी जाओ और पाँच छः बजे के डेबू पे आ जाओ एंड यू कैजली यू रीच बाय अराउंड टेन एंड यू कैन रेस्ट फॉर अ फ्यू आवर्स एंड देन यू कैन जस्ट कम टू द शूट एंड आई वाज लाइक व्हाट गोइंग ऑन या आई वाज लाइक ओके एंड देन आई हंग अप आई मैसेज मैरी मैन आई वाज लाइक दिस इज जस्ट दिस जस्ट हैपन वट डू आई डू बिकॉज It's kind of insulting कि कि मैं मुझे अब जाके बता रहे हैं। She's like, it's okay. This is just how it is. This is how things are. Sometimes uh, it's um, people are not very um, professional. Sometimes. Hmm. So I was like, okay. So I should just come. And she was like, बस आ जाओ। तो I booked a ticket. I got on a bus. I came to Lahore. I reached Lahore around I think eleven or twelve, and I. I reached Lahore around eleven. I reached Maryam's house around twelve. Hmm. Um, I sat with her for an hour. Um, then I was like, "Ab main ek ghanta so ki kya karungi?" Hmm. So around two-ish, I went to the location and I got my hair and makeup done. And there were other models as well. 
um, the call time was 3 a.m. We started shooting around 8, 9-ish hmm. because that's usually what happens <laughs> whenever there's an early Crazy. call time. Crazy. I've heard yeah. that this modeling is very difficult because call time is early and then hair, makeup and then early morning shoots. It is crazy. very, very hard. Uh-huh. Um, in the sense that time management wise. Um, and also, I don't know how you do it in all kinds of weather. Yeah, that is also a struggle. <laughs> I mean, I, I honestly sometimes people tell me like they ask, they're like, "Oh my God, you're a model! That's so glamorous! What's yeah. it like?" And no, I'm it's like, a, I was hard. like, most of the time it's like mazduri because up physically, apni, and I don't mean mazduri as an insult. I mean it as you know, manual labor hmm. because you have to physically be present. You have to, um, not just physically, but apni energy bhi chahiye. Oh, hai. And I you, know. You really have to put all of yourself into it, hmm. and sometimes there are days when you're maybe not feeling your best emotionally and they're like hasse yeah so you know you you also really have to apne andar se nikalna hota hai like you have to disassociate with yourself for yeah. a bit and become this other person yeah and um what was i going to say ha huh, and i was going to say like people say is glamorous because outcome is glamorous the huh. shoot is glamorous not the work part of it that's really it tough i'm sure it yeah takes, it takes a, it takes a village honestly yeah. i I also feel like an imposter whenever someone's like, "Oh my God, you're a model," and I'm like, "Okay, it's not me. It's the team of makeup artists and stylists and photographers yeah, and, and everyone, creative directors and everyone. Everyone, yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's a lot of work. It's, it's a team effort. Okay, then जो दिखता है वो बिकता है, but हाँ. there's a lot more there. There's a lot that goes हाँ, into it, हाँ. and I feel like because models are the ones being photographed. उनको ज्यादा एक्सपोजर मिलता है बट देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ अदर पीपल बिहाइंड द सीन्स हु हैव मेड दिस हैपन सो एंड बिकॉज माई मेन इंटरेस्ट इन द स्टार्ट वॉज ऑलवेज बिहाइंड सीन सो आई ऑलवेज नोटिस दोज पीपल लाइक इफ आई नोटिस किसी की लाइटिंग अच्छी है किसी का वजह आई एम लाइक वाओ दिस पर्सन इज रियली सो आई स्टिल हैव मैसिव रिस्पेक्ट फॉर बोथ मॉडल्स एंड पीपल बिहाइंड द सीन्स बिकॉज ना दर एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कैमरा आई ऑल्सो नो हाउ हार्ड इट इज टू बी देयर आई मीन यूर I mean, I think it's a lot easier. Not easier. I wouldn't say easier, <laughs> <laughs> but it is. It's still um, comf- a lot more comfortable behind the camera because up exposed. Ni hote models really have to put themselves out there, and yeah. they really have to. Um, as, I mean, in my case, at least because I'm not a natural extrovert. I'm an introvert mostly, so I have to really get past my. own comfort level mm-hmm. every time i have to come in and sometimes every time i'm working with someone new developing that comfort because ab ja ke there's certain people i've worked with enough jinko main jaanti hu to there's instant connection and i understand what they want and they know how to like talk to me as well but whenever i'm shooting with someone for the first time there's always that awkward yeah transition yeah where first few times i'm like is it okay <laughs> cuz I, I have to read their faces and yeah. i'm like is it okay and, mm. and and then or sometimes they're also introverts and they don't know how to like say something mm. so i'm like okay i'll have to like figure out how to talk to this person and or maybe just try to understand ke is this just how they are or are they not happy mm. because some people have a very poker yeah, yeah yeah so uh, i i think i have learned a lot from being a model and um I ha- I I do push yourself out of your comfort zone yeah. so much. Ha huh, ha. Huh, huh. I, I mean, it it was it was difficult, <laughs> but I enjoy. I also enjoy this work. I mean, anything to do with shooting, whether it's behind the camera or in front of the camera, I I love it. I love the I love the storytelling aspect of it. I love the whole creative aspect of it. I love how you know the art direction to the styling mm. to the makeup to the concept. The whole thing. I love yeah. all of it. Yeah, and I love people who are. who take it to the next level who don't um who aren't just repeating things or who aren't just doing things ke acha chalo ye bikega ye nahi bikega who are actually trying to tell a story or who are using it really putting that thought into yeah, it ha and is tarah ke log i've been very thankful to have worked with and gotten to meet as well so i i'm grateful for this experience in that way hmm. so then w- at what point did you quit your job and realize that modeling is the career and you are going to take this seriously and do it i didn't expect to get any more work i just thought get someone off thing hmm. and i hadn't told my family ki i'm modeling at this by this point hmm. my sister knew uh, the one in england and she was somewhat okay with it but and she tried to kind of get my mom um on board by telling her ki isko offers aa rahi hain which initially my mom laughed at because my mom 
Because like, every time she sees me, she's like, okay, what have you done to yourself? <laughs> She just thinks I'm like, and unko thon unka ke is isko kawan modeling. Although you have the total model face and the everything, I, I, like so in, now I look at you, I'm like you were born to be a model. How did nobody see this I before? Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But, um, in my mom's case, it's the exact opposite. You know how kids are raised in homes? Like there's a lot of girls I, who are like my mom fat shamed me and told me that. Uh-huh. मेरे घर में उल्टा था. My mom used to skinny shame. Skinny shame. She huh. would be like, you're so weak. तुम कुछ खाती क्यों नहीं हो? and or, or you know why are you so fussy and, and I, even if I, though i ate i would get sick a lot because pakistan aake mere i think uh, digestive issues bahut badh gaye acha ha so i lost a lot of weight when i came here and thankfully i've been able to gain back that weight now but and especially when i moved out i lost so much weight i was so like i was i think i i was like i actually looked sick mm. but because of all of the work i was doing but wo sara bhi thankfully ab theek ho gaya lekin abhi bhi my mom looks at me and goes you're not you're not you don't look good uh, so um growing up mujhe hamesha ye sunna padta tha ki oh look at your friend you know she's so healthy she's so fresh uh, even in university i remember i had a friend who um like she started working out and she became very toned and fit my mom saw her and my mom was like oh my god this thing comes zor ho gayi hai uh, because wo unka zehen mein hota hai ki bas uh, patla sukha she was like uski uski gaale khatam uh, i don't know my mom thinks having cheeks is a sign of <laughs> healthy ha <laughs> she's like oh you know mm. and usko bhi she was like beta ab to itni kamzor ho gaye and she was like auntie um I, i'm fit now I'm fit ha <laughs> so so as quite and then she believed me she's like okay yeah your mom does appreciate healthy <laughs> body types and uh. my mom she does that to mere mere ulta case tha so i would feel bad about being skinny mm. i didn't feel attractive i didn't feel good looking i i would actually envy girls with like curves and curves and legs and stuff and i still do i still like people who have like big hips and legs and, huh. so mujhe abhi bhi acha lagta hai but i think ye hota hai ki you're never happy with yourself as you are yeah because i was going to say yeah i have the curves and the hips and i'm like no yeah. <laughs> and the cheeks <laughs> <laughs> my mom would love you to <laughs> 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 so, so in my case mera yahi tha to even my mom was like okay people want her to model so um she wasn't happy about it initially Her, um and I was like okay I'll tell her if it becomes a thing if it doesn't ha huh, then she doesn't need to know yeah uh, it could just be one of those you know these side gigs that I'm doing I don't yeah. tell her about every you know freelance job every tiny job thing ha huh. so she was like okay, um um ha huh, so my sister told her and my mom was like you know it's mm. not I'm not okay with this and then I decided okay theek I won't tell her until if it becomes something big then one day my mom She didn't see any of my shoots. She didn't see outfitters ka shoot. She didn't see any other. Uh, She didn't see you on billboards. Yeah, no. Just <laughs> outfitters ka billboard lagi the. I was so anxious during that time. Ki mm-hmm. oh my god, kahi wo bahir ja ke dekh le to uh, kya kahegi? Uh. So I was very anxious about that. Uh, outfitters ke baad mujhe coincidentally I remember um, ye Hussein Rehar wala hua. And one day I was at home and I was browsing through the phone like raat ke time pe sone se pehle. And this was also coincidentally on a Friday. I think. Friday is a lucky day for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going through the phone, and I remember I saw um, I saw this video on on my explore page. It was a campaign shot shoot for Zara Shah Jahan. And, um, I was like, who who's the guy that shot this? Because I was interested in following the videographer. So I followed that uh, videographer because I was like, let's see, his work is or if it's good or not. If he ever posts something else, and after ten minutes, later, that same guy followed me back. and he messaged me saying hey are you available for a shoot for sapphire and it's going to be in hunza next week and i was like what uh, is this a joke uh, again <laughs> I, again i was like what <laughs> mm. i honestly i was in shock cuz i wasn't expecting is now cuz um mai to apni tarah se browse kar rahi thi so i was like ye mazak kar raha hai and then i was like okay, uh, i'm in islamabad and uh, i am interested but what are the details and kya so he's like okay give me your number my colleague will reach out to you and i gave him my number raat ke thing 10 11 baje the mujhe usi time pe call aayi from his colleague who was like okay, we're shooting in hunza it's on Mon- it start it's going to be on monday it's going to be for 5 days and we're going to leave on monday and come back on sunday so i was like Okay, uh let me get back to you because I have a job and I need to talk to my boss about this. Mm. So he was like, "Okay, get back to me." And usi uh, time pe I mess at night at 12:00 baje imagine I had to message my boss. 
कि ये हो रहा है हाँ आर यू फ्री फॉर क्विक कॉल एंड ही वॉज लाइक वट्स अप एंड आई टोल्ड इन द सिचुएशन एंड ही वॉज रियली हैप्पी फॉर मी आई मीन ही वॉज लाइक आई एम नॉट गोना स्टॉप यू फ्राम अ गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी गो फॉर इट सो वट इट एक्चुअली हैपन इन दिस केस वॉज दिस इज वाई बिलीव इन द यूनिवर्स एंड गॉड they they were supposed to do a shoot with this shoot with another model like there were i think four models and june ki fourth model thi she cancelled at the last minute hmm. and they were sitting us time pe thinking ke hum kya karenge uh, we lost a model and, and usi time pe i had followed and uh, he had randomly seen my profile and he'd seen ke oh she also has done some shoots let's that's ask crazy That, yeah i know i would not have expected this to happen in any other way hmm. um, so i was really um, surprised and uh, i got to work with some amazing people at shoot pe as well which um some of them i became really good friends with as well mm. so all of this started um i mean ye hua phir uske baad mujhe phir randomly mujhe queries aati lahore se and i would be like i'm in islamabad if you can pay for my transport, transport huh. so some of them would agree sometimes they would say no mm. so on uh, on and off hota gaya phir mujhe yaad hai i think december mein um Yeah, at the end of December Maryam t- talked to me and she was like hey, why don't you just come to Lahore mm-hmm. and live with me for a few months see if this work picks up g- try to do it full time if not you can come back t- go back to Islamabad so i was like okay i will i mean i was really scared because freelance work yeah not sustainable it's not yeah it's not uh, sustainable mm-hmm. um but i was like why not give it a try because mm-hmm. she said abhi tum karogi to you know you you might get some work because people are seeing you right you. now yeah. ha this is the time so yeah I, before it dies down ke nahi to islamabad mein hoti hai ha mushkil hoga iska so i decided to do that i moved to lahore in january and us time pe bhi my mom was like that's when my mom i think also found out ke i'm modeling hmm. and not from any shoots she found out from this random ad i did for my agency hmm. for this company the startup who came to us for an ad called mocha online jisme i was a housewife it was a dvc hmm. and she saw it because uh, they had sponsored that ad on youtube and my brother saw it and he mm-hmm. told my mom uh. so she called me asking me ke oh you're doing shoots now mm-hmm. and i was like oh my god you know like kaun si campaign so <laughs> uh. i was like nahi nahi <laughs> and she she was like nahi nahi i was like i i was like what campaign did you see hmm. or like what shoot did you see and she was like i saw an ad called mock online and i was like oh, okay that <laughs> thankfully <laughs> she just saw that i know a few Huh. So then I talked to her and I told her, "Kya, I am getting work and mm. I would like to try this out. And it's not a big deal. It's you know, I told her, 'Kya, the industry isn't what it used to be. Mm. And I have people I know, like in the sense, 'Kya, Maryam is also a stylist. Mm. You know, I'm, if I do it, you know, she guides me. And then my mom kind of calmed down a little bit and she mm. was like, 'Okay, um, but don't do anything that I wouldn't be comfortable with.' and i was like i won't do anything i'm not comfortable mm. with i mean i understand because i don't know my mom's level of comfort and mine are totally different huh. so i was like okay, um you know you know you can trust me that i won't do anything i'm not comfortable with and if i do do it um you know it it'll be something you should know that i was okay with it and mm. or that i trusted the people that i was working mm. with it wasn't that i was doing something or i was being exploited or there was a situation where i was being lied to or you know cheated because that's what her fear was that okay? मेरी बेटी को लोग बेवकूफ़ बना देंगे या एक्सप्लोर कर लेंगे सो या दैट्स हाउ इट स्टार्टेड एंड आई मूव टू लाहौर फॉर थ्री मंथ्स एंड देन जस्ट सम हाउ इट बिकेम आई थिंक एंड नाउ यू आर अ फुल फ्लैज मॉडल नाउ एम ए मॉडल आई स्टिल नो हाउ टू टेल पीपल आई एम अ मॉडल इफ दे आस मी वट यू डू आई गेट सो अनकम्फर्टेबल एंड मे बी इट्स बिकॉज आई एम आई स्टिल डोंट रियली सी माई सेल्फ एज अ मॉडल I mean, I still have dreams beyond modeling. Yeah. I still have aspirations beyond it. Mm-hmm. Although I love doing it, I love um, I love the work. I love being in front of the camera sometimes with when the right teams and the right people, and you know, I love learning through it. But, But you don't think this is it? I don't. I don't. I still have this itch in my heart. Okay, there's more. There's more. And I don't know what that is. I'm still hoping to find out, and I'm still hoping to do it, do more. Hmm. But um, yeah, so far, yeah, this is where I am in life. Hmm. And I honestly believe, okay, if it weren't for the people I'd met along the way, if it weren't for God, and if it weren't even for the support I got, I would not be here today. Hmm. And now I'm finally at a point in my life where my family uh, is. I'm able to take care of my parents. I'm able to give money back home. I'm able to 
शो माई फैमिली कि यू नो आई कैन नॉट ओनली टेक केयर ऑफ माई सेल्फ बट मैं आपका भी ख्याल रख सकती हूँ आई आई वॉन्ट टू आई एम एबल टू रिड्यूस द बर्डन नॉट बर्डन आई एम एबल टू रिड्यूस द फाइनेंशियल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ माई ब्रदर सो उस जस्ट बींग एबल टू डू दैट हैज मेड माई रिलेशनशिप विद दैम सो मच बेटर बिकॉज आई हैव रियलाइज नाउ कि अलॉर ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन अलॉर ऑफ द स्ट्रेस अलॉर ऑफ द स्ट्रगल्स दैट वी हैड इन आर डायनामिक बैक दैन जो कि अब मैं जूम आउट करके देख सकती हूँ बिकॉज उस टाइम पे तो यू आर इन इट यू कैन सी यू टेक इट पर्सनली यू थिंक ओके दिस पर्सन हैज एन इशू और यू नो आप नेगेटिवली लेते हो अब मुझे रियलाइज होता है कि ये सारे मसले जो थे मोस्ट ऑफ इट वॉज बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स विच वर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू द स्ट्रेस एंड द आई वुडन से डिसफंक्शनल बट आई वुड से दनफेयर प्रेशर्स दैट पेट्री आर की काइंड ऑफ पुट्स ऑन सन्स और पुट्स ऑन हजबेंड जीवन लाइक इवन इन माई डैड्स केस आई फील लाइक a lot of his health issues a lot a lot of his mental health issues even came from being put in a position of having to take on all the stress where he felt that this was his to deal with yeah, yeah. and, and I, he's alone in it exactly yeah. even though my mom did support him and she was working as well but my dad had to be away from his family for a really long yeah. time and that does take a to make the money yeah. exactly to make the money to support his family mm. so i don't want that to happen to my family in the future if i ever get married or have kids i want to be i want them to see that you know what everyone can help and being a girl if i have a daughter i don't want my daughter to think that i am someone who has to eventually either ma- marry someone or you know um ya to masters karo ya shaadi karo ye do options hote hain uh. i don't want that to be any, the option for any other person and i also don't want anyone to feel like that what you study or what you the degree you choose has to be something you're committed to hmm. you know you can always explore you can always expand you can do multiple bachelors if you want but it doesn't mean that you're bound to it man the world is so big yeah. and there's so many things to do exactly. why why like you know restrict yourself yeah, yeah. and even um, rest- restriction ke alawa i mean i i acknowledge and accept ke a lot of i mean a lot of the things that i have right now are because i was given a good education by my parents mm. i was given the privilege of going to a school jisme mujhe um english and you know all of the elements jo ke bahar ki duniya mein or in current in pakistan especially they look for mm. like i got a job in red bull because i could speak english mm. i could i was well spoken i would i could communicate i could um You were educated. I was educated. Uh, yeah. So uh, the privilege will a factor. I d- discard nahi kari. And because I've I've been in the industry, I've I've actually met people. I've seen met models who I can actually say are self made and mm. who I can really respect because they some of them come from backgrounds where they were not able to have all of these facilities and they still were able to work hard and hustle and become these people. And now they're taking care of their families too. I've met so many girls who are supporting their parents and their families and. um or who come from families which are broken or not the, like not the most stable and it makes me really happy ke you know this is why this is why i respect the modeling industry because it gives women the chance to at least yeah. take some financial responsibility yeah. and give back and take care of those around yeah. them and i'm grateful ke i got to do that for my family through this and i don't know aage ja ke main kya karungi i don't know if i I mean I know modeling isn't something you can do for the rest of your life mm. there are other things and there are other avenues but uh, so far I'm very grateful so mm. yeah and what about filmmaking what do you th- feel about that now because it has been yeah. there the whole time in your head so it, now where is that it is still there huh. I still have that itch <laughs> and there <laughs> are there's there's things that I want to do in that um that the fear is there too ke mujhse nahi hoga मैं कैसे करूंगी बट दिस ईयर आई हैव डिसाइडेड कि आई एम गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन गेटिंग पास दैट फियर एंड ओके होपफुली आई डोंट नो लेट्स सी फिंगर्स क्रॉस्ड इफ आई एम एबल टू एवर मेक समथिंग आई विल लेट यू नो यस दैट विल बी एक्साइटिंग नाउ आई नो सो मच अबाउट यू yeah i had did not know <laughs> so much of this you should do a podcast where i ask you questions <laughs> yes because now it's not fair yeah <laughs> um, but i still think that you know something about my life ha huh, i, I yeah. i've been following you for a really long time too i remember when you first started 
your Snapchat. Ah, yes. I, I, see, I've been, I, I remember and I used to see your videos and at that time you didn't have any like Instagram presence. Yeah. Huh. And you used to put up these motivational videos and I remember seeing them and I'd be like, wow, you know, I really love how open and vulnerable she is. I really respected that about Thank you. you. So mm. I think one of, that could also have been a factor that put you <laughs> indirectly as well. Because huh. you honestly did, you, because you were trying to connect with people and yeah. you were trying to actually show people that, you know, these are things we should talk about. Hmm. Or these are things we should normalize or understand or accept. So, and I think you were one of the first people who talked about body positivity as well. Uh, I, I remember did. that. Uh, so I really respected that too. So I'm really happy to see that you're here right now, <laughs> able to, you know, have podcasts. Yeah. And I'm honored that I could be a guest on Thank this. Thank you so much. I think we've both come a really long way. Yeah. Yeah, from back then to now. I'm really happy. And yeah, same. Thank you, Atika. Thanks for having me. That was such a nice, very insightful conversation. Um, your story, storytelling is great. <laughs> I talk really fast. And I don't know if people will understand. No, how no. I think it was quite understandable. And I also feel that um, not everybody is able to, you know... <sighs> while telling a story reflects so much and take so much out of it for people to take you know bring that out sometimes people just tell story but they're not able to you know uh, put the true meaning out of it you know and you were doing that so I really liked that that's sometimes I, with my guests I'm really like please like you know <laughs> put more because it's there I see that the yeah. meaning is there thought is there yeah. but people don't put it out there you know and that's what I want on this platform to happen. So thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> thank I, you so much. Uh -huh. Are you saying? I'm just saying. I think there might have been things that I still might have missed out that other people might see and pick out on. I don't know. Yeah, but. yeah. No, it's a very inspirational story overall. Uh, maybe you don't realize it, but it definitely is. And I'm sure that people feel the same way when they listen to this. I hope so. I mean, I hope it helps someone. Maybe if there's anyone who's struggling or who is stuck in their life, I hope it helps them yeah. find some motivation. Yeah. Or gives them some hope. It's not the end. Yeah. There's still something you can do. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Happy Chip. It was so insightful. There was so much to learn from it. And I really hope that you guys feel the same way. Please drop in your comments and let me know what you think. Um, this was quite an inspirational story. Um, you wouldn't hear this every day. Um, many brave things, a lot of depth, a lot of meaning. And I definitely think for anybody who is feeling hopeless right now, uh, feels like, you know, their life has sort of come to a dead end. This will provide a lot of inspiration and a lot of insight. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. I'll see you another time. Allah Hafiz. <laughs>